morning, Ganesh. Good morning. Good morning, Yajendra. Yes, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Hmm. So, you watched all the videos, Yajendra? Ma'am, I have gone through the uh, almost uh, end of the video. Yes, ma'am. At last, uh, in at last, you explained about uh, I mean, uh, percentage. Each ninety percent is fifty percent. That concept, I won't able to get that. Remaining, yes, I, I got a little bit okay. idea. Ma'am, that is what is the message area. Yeah. Yeah, that is what is the massacre. Yeah, that's what yeah. at the starting you just mentioned those things. That's uh, then after that I realized okay. No, in okay, the end, no worries. Listen yeah. once again properly from the beginning. Oh, no, I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. Okay. So yesterday we finished with learning style, right? Yes. Okay. Today, the moment you said 11 o'clock, I was a bit relieved. You were about to? No, the moment you said 11 o'clock will start, I was a yeah. little bit relieved because I was like rushing home. <laughs> you were rushing? <laughs> yes. Why? No, I had actually been outside today. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think hope uh, it was useful for you. I had some time to get back home okay. and settle down. Good. Good. Maybe you would have gone for the purchases, correct? Uh, no, actually, I'm part of a forum where we decided to go to a... I mean, there's a school for disabled children. So we all collectively decided to go there and uh, provide food for them. Okay, okay. Great. So it happened early in the morning around 7 o'clock. We okay. went there early Just... in the morning. Good, good, good. Good, good. nice uh, gesture. Where are you actually at Chennai? Um, I'm in Madipakam. Are <laughs> You reside near Madipakam. I reside near Ullagram. 
i am in madipakam it's like hardly i think we are hardly a couple of kilometers away okay where exactly in madipakam near the ayyappan temple okay kartikeyapuram no it's this side the other i mean kartikeyapuram is the other side of the lake okay this is uh, right next to the i mean uh, two streets away from the ayyappan temple okay right you have a river the lake bank also there correct yep yep you used to yep. come there for the ganesha chaturthi uh, you know the ideal dipping day <laughs> but uh, i live in this area since uh, uh, 1979 my mom has actually been here since her childhood as well mm. so right from my schooling uh, all uh, this area <laughs> that's great my mom as in like yeah even she was like i said she used to be here since her childhood and after that i guess like when she was in college they shifted off to another place in chennai to okay. kk nagar and then after she got married uh, we went to west mambalam Okay. and then we have been living across different places in chennai and finally now we are we are back to the same place mari park very very good <laughs> both kind my of... parents my parents as well as my husband's place both are just hardly a kilometer uh, you must be aware about uh, uh, the uh, uh, new prince matriculation school right i know i know in huh. fact uh, the vice president of that school is actually like a friend of mine oh yeah okay uh, you mean to say the uh, uh, the lokanathan uh, and also vasudev navin his name is navin kumar navin yeah the founders of the school was lokanathan and vasudev uh, yeah they are the founders i'm talking about uh, i think vasudev's son ha uh, yeah Vasudevan's wife Ranjini is my friend. That's great. Yeah. So it's a small world. Yeah, true. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, we have uh, Neeraj and uh, Kali also joined. Namrata is here to join. Yep. Good morning, Neeraj. Good morning. Morning, Neeraj. Good morning, How is the... Good morning, good... everyone. Good morning. So, how was the poking yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> What happened? No, we, I, I, when, when we were talking yesterday, and Radha said that our director has to be an introvert, right? Extrovert. extrovert. That director has to be extrovert. an extrovert. But I, I think uh, Guru Dutt has been a great uh, director himself, but he was an introvert. See, Namrata is not here to correct you. She's been every time asking you. It is an introvert, and you, you are very, very carefully, consciously calling it as an introvert. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Namrata's main job is to correct you. No, sir, it is not introvert. It is introvert. Oh, ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's that's my habit i eat eat away three four words in between that's my I habit know. perhaps you're hungry ah uh, yeah <laughs> it, it don't really hungry no uh. this i i just matlab uh, uh, sometimes i slip through words uh, this is my mistake i know i know i need to correct it but i, I it, it is it, it's a habit now but i i slip through words sometimes mm. very fast No, just just to i think uh, it is because so many things are going in the brain and you, you want thank to put god everything down your there your exam thank god your examination to certify get certified is not a descriptive mm-hmm. type of question it's only an objective thing yeah yeah <laughs> yes yes they, they they have they have understood what neeraj is all about i so know they... very good we made it that way <laughs> right 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 are i was expecting more yesterday nothing happened it just got diffused mm, yes i think uh, people were not responding so i thought uh, 
why should i be only the one who should why be punished not? why not no so uh, I, i i i started it yesterday i i thought like people would take it further i and think the... uh, uh, it was me ganesh and namrata i think we we didn't got uh, any response from anybody else also uh, responded kali <laughs> also said he was what uh, saying yes, uh, yes. youtuber yes kali was there influencer also. actually I, yesterday i was all the day busy that's why i couldn't interact mm. Mm. take up a topic no and make it more interesting it's like a forum yeah yeah knowledge grows this way right namrata says she will be joining at 11:20 so should we wait for her so shall we start yeah we'll start i guess i like, think it's yeah. taking time now no yeah yeah so we can continue this 3 hours for today right after uh, normally we'll complete by 1:30 uh, we can also continue till we finish the level 1 okay now yeah uh, okay before we start i just wanted to ask you one more thing as in like okay a uh, day before yesterday we said you said like we might even uh, continue for another day correct correct that is what i want to also uh, you know uh, uh, conclude before we start for the day so should we have it tomorrow or monday what works for everybody no if you can have it tomorrow i'll be more than happy tomorrow is fine but Uh, I have an early morning morning meeting by seven thirty. I would get home probably by around this time eleven eleven thirty. Ah, my my trouble my trouble for tomorrow is, ah, uh, you know this year only my uh, father in law died. So oh. we have some rituals that I'll have to do tomorrow. Mm, yes, yes, yes. So, so that be. is why I thought I was proposing whether we can have it on Monday also, Monday or mm. Tuesday. Which Let's, uh, commonly for no, no, then it's then it's okay with us for, for for me Monday is okay then that's okay. Okay, thank no you. Nira. So Ganesh, no Monday works for you? Yeah, Monday works for me. Okay, how And about we... you, Gandhar? That's fine. Monday works for me. Okay, how about Kalit? Kalit? Kalit is on holiday today. Why is not responding? <laughs> ah, I think what... he is. I think he is very tired. High level holiday mood. Yeah, he is in Dubai, no? Yeah, yeah, that's what holiday mood. Holiday, enjoying. Salad. <laughs> so, are you cooking food? Hey, <laughs> yar, where is biryani? What? <laughs> I was asking Khalid, where is huh? biryani for the Friday? Yeah, बिल्कुल होना चाहिए. It should be there. Hmm. But but biryani to it's another story. Even Kali is not there. Ganesh, you eat biryani. Ganesh, you eat biryani. Only vegetarian biryani. Ah, that is what. Ah. <laughs> you you are so. Your name doesn't sound. You are a uh, you know a chickenitarian or an eggitarian or a muttonitarian, right? I'm okay. very much an eggitarian actually. I know these days yeah, people are yeah. easily are becoming eggitarian. Okay. So uh, my my surname also says that I would not be. Ah um... uh, yeah yeah true I missed it. <laughs> Sharma ji, Pandit ji, Maharaj. Ah <laughs> Pandit ji, na. <laughs> but but I take everything, right? You eat everything. I am. A... Yeah, I eat everything. Wow, very good. Nothing, uh, no fussy thing about uh, being vegetarian or non-vegetarian. Yeah yeah. Okay. so uh, concluded that we are going to have our uh, after today session on monday sure sure done monday done. by 10:30 regular time okay yeah so good friday again again this monday next next session ha uh, kalid is awake uh, yeah kalid okay okay actually my earphone not working i think i can't hear the earphone so ha uh, sorry yeah. what is he saying yeah uh, kalid you have to speak louder because you you are not audible he is talking uh, to okay. himself Ah, uh, actually, my earphone not working. Uh, the I changed the earphone. That's why. Oh, we thought your mouth is not working. <laughs> can, you, can, you can, you can you hear me? We, we were thinking that you. your mouth is filled with biryani. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, Khalid, we are going to have one more extended day session on Monday. Okay. 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 All right. Okay, we'll just switch on to the topics. so as of yes. yesterday we have covered the 
uh, you know, the high level important topic, uh, which include personality, interest, as well as the learning style. Today, we're going to be uh, getting into the next dimension. So before I proceed, there are two questions which I would like to check with you. Um, sometimes, or not sometimes, you must definitely have got this right uh, in your mind. We are checking on the interest of somebody. Mm -hmm. It sounds very sensible to uh, decide a career based on the interest. Mm -hmm. But have you ever doubted how long that interest will be holding? After some yes. uh, four years or five years, what is the fate of those interests? Have you ever thought about it? I have because uh, um, sometimes it seems that the uh, interest within four or five years may change. Hmm. Ah. To the situation or circumstances, circumstances also. But I, I feel that interest change. Okay. So this is one question. Okay. You feel that it is going to be changing. Correct? We'll keep that aside. If it keeps changing again, the change is actually uh, not very advantageous, isn't it? Yes. It keeps on landing us in many places. Okay. Now, yes. there is another question. Mm -hmm. What do you think people value in job why they need a job is you know job is it compulsorily required cannot somebody uh, remain without job can they not be jobless uh, why they value job any any thoughts what do you think are the important things that they no, get? You're talking about getting? occupation or job? Getting a job, what do you think actually motivates? Job. What is so important to get a job? You're asking what is so important or you're asking why is it so important? Both. You, when you say what is important, you will tell me something, correct? X, Y, Z. Why? And why then she'll come with why. Those are actually important. I need that. There is no a need job. for going a job, going for a job or no? Well, there is a need to, uh, for going for a job because uh, uh, whatever you've learned, where you will put it into uh, ex uh, actual uh, work. Okay. So your knowledge should not go dormant. That's why you need a job. Correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So otherwise you don't need a job, correct? Mm. Only for the sake yes, of if I was not married, I would not need a job. Huh? <laughs> if I was not married, I would not need a job. Oh, you feel, if you are not married, you don't need a job? Mm, yes. What would have you done for your bread and butter? I would have gone uh, to my village and I would have done my agriculture thing. Done my? Agriculture. <clears throat> Even Agri that is a job. That is also a job. No? Okay. So you want me to sell title? No, I will not. <laughs> no, but See, I think... Everyone uh, needs a job. If you talk to a student, <clears throat> at school level or and... college level, why do they think, what do they value at job? No, uh, uh, I was confused by the question. Uh, why? I'll tell you that. Because I was looking at... Uh, Doing your own thing and uh, a job. That that I, I wanted to differentiate from that. You are an that. entrepreneur or you are an intrapreneur, whatever you be. But why yeah. do you need to be engaged in a job? What motivates you being in a job? What do you it's think it's that your job should constitute? Yeah, primarily for the bread and butter. Bread and butter? So I'll give you bread and butter, you'll come and work, work for me. Uh, no, not on I'll send bread you at least like, this uh, like, Britannia... Fresh over, all the I bread think, you every day. Rather, it is more, more than bread and butter. It is the sense of achievement. Achievement how? What makes you feel that you have achieved? Right. Uh, I think um, when a person puts his, uh, his his education or whatsoever he has learned, his experiences into, into a job, into a work, and he gets money for that, uh, that is rewarding. That is, that is what there he you are. That, they yes. have, you want money, correct? Yes, every, everybody yes, wants and, and, money, correct? Yes, and job is... Job People is value thing. money as an important motivator in the job, correct? Absolutely, and job, people do job because on the 29th, you get a 
um, uh, miraculous message which says that this has been credited to your account. Correct. Not only that, you also said that by doing a job, I will be able to, uh, you know, give some output, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this happened to me while I was working for an university here, deemed university. As a faculty for MBA department, I was also assigned career development uh, activities. That college, uh, that university had uh, B, B tech programs, even marine engineering programs, and also even BA, BSc, BCom pro programs. So when we were doing this campus to corporate, students were trained from the first year onwards. A final year student, after my value education class, last 15, 20 minutes, we were having a gentle discussion. The boy was saying, ma'am, I don't know, ma'am, I need a job, I need a job. He was chanting literally. I asked him, what kind of a job do you want? A very good job, ma'am. Okay, define your good job. The boy told this, ma'am, a good salary, ma'am. Okay, what is the salary? I googled, ma'am. I think uh, uh, for a fresher of my kind, I can get uh, a monthly salary of 25 to 30K. Uh, is actually a good salary, ma'am. So you mean to say about 3.6 lakhs per annum? He said, yes, ma'am, very much. All right, other than the salary, what else do you expect? The boy said, ma'am, I've completed my computer science in engineering. Okay, so I should, I don't want to go and uh, uh, join any other job. I'd like to become a programmer or a developer, not a tester. Without me asking only, he said that not a tester. I asked him why. Ma'am, if it's a programmer or a, de or a developer, if I go to another job in two years or three years, right, I can be able to adapt to a new programming, whatever is assigned to different companies. I can use my experience in another company. But as a tester, the knowledge I acquired in testing, I cannot use it in another company. Uh, 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 application. So I don't want to go as a tester. That means the role, the designation is highly mattering for you. Then what else? Ma'am, job security. Why? Because there are many fly-by-night companies, ma'am, in this IT line. They get a project, immediately they start and they don't get another project. And they put uh, employees like us in bench. I'd like to join a company where there is continuously projects available. Wow, very good. So what do you matter in a job? Salary, designation and job security. Correct. They have a fear of job. Correct. Losing job. Yeah. Yes, Correct. yes. Every individual has this. Even we would have had this after our first job. Correct? Yeah. <laughs> so, now the problem here is, why? Because there was a, a psychologist by name Maslow. You might have actually heard about. That man is the whole cause. He derived that the human need are segmented into five slabs. He gave a pyramid-like structure. The basic need and the physiological need were for the food, shelter, and clothing. Correct, Khalid? Everybody goes for a job to matter for this, correct? Yeah. They don't directly want food. Then they feel it is actually, you know, Bhavati Bhishande. Like, you know, somebody is actually, uh, we, are, we are begging for them. It is not begging. You feel that royalty when you are able to work, correct? You get money, through money you are buying all this. To protect them from the environmental condition, they need to be living under a roof and also a clothing, right? To claim that they are civilized. So they were okay for any kind of an average contribution with regard to food as long as they don't starve or a clothing to cover themselves from the environmental conditions and also a covered roof. For this, they had to go for specific hours, work, and from that, they will earn wages. They continue to do this for a longer time. But you know what happened? 
a man or an woman they they can be born alone and dying alone they, but they never live alone social animal we are that's what he is told had i not got married i would have gone to my village and i would have actually gone right that's not a social <laughs> need that's a need for your self esteem agriculture is also a profession correct <laughs> right so people they wanted uh, you know a regular job why because till the physiological and basic needs were satisfied they'll work for some selective hours and get the money after the money is expended and if they need money some more at that time they were not sure of getting a job they wanted a continuous income why because maybe a day or two they may be ready to starve but they don't want their family members to starve correct so they want a regular income so job security and salary were started to get considered you know considered because till then it was wages salary came into practice only when people were ready to work continuously for eight hours till then people were working in their own whims and fancies then where does this designation come matter exactly need as you identified that need for self esteem you like to live yes. in an urban life with your own bungalow with your own vehicle earlier you would have actually uh, if you were in uh, 1980s you would have been okay with a cycle later in 1960s yes. you wanted a two wheeler now in mm -hmm. 2020 you wanted to have uh, a car right and not a normal car correct yes right so that means we would like to earn for our self esteem not only that you would like to have your wife in rich clothes and attires and also jewelries you want to put your children in convent right or you know any specialized education right that's a need for self esteem where with a regular average employment responsibilities we would not be able to earn that money we had to stretch additional hours take up additional responsibilities where our designation also mattered sure. if you talk to a student who is looking with a job perspective they need a job you can see they will actually only say that these are the three things if they in a job they would like for and if they find that they will be motivated but did you know or did you observe these are all extrinsic motivators these are all acquired from outside correct yes these are all extrinsic motivators when i asked that boy already you need a job don't worry a friends company i can actually place you they have started up a venture in android programming if you are good in android programming they can actually hire you he said that no ma'am i can learn ma'am i i can learn android programming courses are there if they can just tell me i can learn okay fine you do it they'll also learn you on that but uh, you know you will get some 30000 rupees salary what you want oh thank you so much ma'am okay don't ma'am don't worry don't, don't be very fast the fellow who is sitting next to you i'll see that he is also getting a job really ma'am bright eyes yes he will be paid about 45k per month the boy was blinking why ma'am is that a different job 45k for him salary and 30 for me the company is ready to provide 45 then ma'am why they are not providing me ma'am you wanted only 30 no ma'am when i googled i inquired with many people they suggested that 30k to begin with is an is a very good pay that's why i i proposed that can i be given 30000 but the job deserves 45k i didn't know that man you know what very simple information people don't know their own values exactly during their hiring process they have to be asking that this is my self worth they have to know their self worth they have to negotiate a salary they want even during being em employed whenever they are taking up additional responsibilities 
that self awareness is actually greatly missing the students who are after graduation they don't even know where they are wanting to destinate themselves they call it a statement of purpose it is in their own very unfortunate they do not have their own self worth known to them and they are not able to sell themselves in the job market very unfortunate because and they don't want sales correct and they are not it is not sell they are not able to sell themselves in the job market i'm saying no, that's what even i'm saying like even even for selling them selling their own self worth they are not willing to get into sales they don't know about it it is not yes sales. they don't While, know that's a problem. like uh, i would like to put in here this if you don't know that's the selling first needs knowledge and if you're not even self aware if you don't know how much you are worth exactly. what is what, what, what you can deliver own. okay because all the while they have been treating that their value is met only with getting a salary designation or job security without this we cannot survive in a job agreed but these are extrinsic motivators after acquiring a job but till then what is going to keep us you know motivated there are our own intrinsic values and motivators what are they? are there anything called intrinsic motivators okay how one person is able to know their intrinsic value how that value is connected to their workplace responsibilities is what we are going to be next discussing about okay the interest align them to a particular functional area correct yeah holding those interest is definitely very critical for a person to gain experience and become an expert in a domain after taking up a job their staying back in the job is actually a seriously a bigger challenge you can see even parents misguided children the child would have gone to a job after engineering or any profile and the first two months of them goes like a honeymoon period because it's an induction and orientation after the three months only their real output is required to be you know showcased they're struggling they are not able to fight they are not able to give a tough resistance to the knowledge problem <laughs> because they are pampered and come and express it to the parents and say that i don't know i don't like this job i don't want to continue i don't want to do this it is not interesting me you can see the parents would be giving an advice beta some way you actually manage to be here for one year after one year of experience you can switch over to another job when a boy or a girl is not knowing why they are struggling there what is the great idea that in a newer job the same struggle will continue or not <laughs> they think that that perseverance they'll say some way you manage we have to pay your ema ema man we are not having money everybody is having a fear to err is human okay when they continue to do their errors it becomes mistakes further it grows as a blunder they are not even spending their time because for a for a person to be hired in a particular role there is a great you know high level competency mapping done by the recruiting team there is a cost involved in hiring head hunting hiring recruiting then employing and training for them to show a real output of themselves it takes easily 3 years when an individual is not even able to sustain for one or two years how can they actually become ever a profit center to the company 
one to three years, they are a cost center. Why they are a cost center? There is an opportunity cost in the hiring, in training, in engaging them. And also the organization is bearing their mistakes. Cost for mistakes are heavy. By doing mistakes, they learn. Okay. When the company is suffering, it takes three years for them to move from experience to expert stage. After the fourth year only, they are actually, you know, not a cost to the company. At that stage, what happens? They are actually, you know, greatly attracted by everything outside. They leave. The company is at loss. A human resource who has spent there till they have learned and become an expert and then they're moving out of the company. It's a loss to the company. It's an, yes. it's an asset. They have groomed them. When it is four years, they are neither an expense or they are actually neither an income to the company. They are delivering. They are not a profit. But once yes. they are actually you know, able to reproduce another resource moving into the stage of excellence, they become a profit to the company. Till then, they have to sustain. Whatever the salary paid to them, till then is an expense to the company. It's not an income at all. If you see the different components of a salary, we have basic, HRA, DA, CCA. All these are common. There is only one component called graduity. When is an employee paid graduity? People from HR are here. Yeah, um, I think it is 10 years in a company. Not 10 years, 5 years. 5 years, sorry. Completing 5 years. Paying graduity is actually a retention strategy by the company. Yes. The component is very meager. Okay. But a person, when we are hiring on mid-level and top management level, when these people are in and they have been able to work for a company more than five years, <coughs> in qualifying them as an HR, we will give additional points to them. To stay till then requires a great perseverance or they have been actually adding a value to the role. And these people will be knowing those values. Attaching to a functional area, every functional area there is a value. For example, if I am actually asking you people to produce your proof of education to join this program. Will you be giving the original educational certificate of yours? No. If you have to give me physical copy, you will you will say that you will go and take, make a copy at a Xerox center. Correct? Yes. But Xerox, is it a photocopy? It's a photocopying mission brand name. Which has become a common name. There will be Xerox center, you know, put in a board in the outside of the shop. But if you go there inside, there will be HP or Canon. HP and Canon are subtly heating the brand name of Xerox. When Xerox monopolized the market, it positioned itself. Do we think that it is only the technology of the product? To establish the want of that photocopy, Xerox has done a high level penetration and branded itself. The value of actually, you know, the company has grown multifolds. When somebody is starting a business, they'll ask, adults will ask, when I started my business in 2000, starting a manufacturing unit, my father-in-law asked me, how much profit did you make the first year? I was saying that we cannot make profit in the first two years. That is very practical. Because in this stage, I am penetrating. 
during my penetrating stage, I have to ensure my quality of the product and service are very high. My profit margins are very low. Even if I meet my cost, that is more than enough. I am in, in the midst of a highly competitive market. So in that case, I cannot expect a high level profit. Even if I am monopolizing a product or service, I may be the first to be doing it. But till the market accepts it, I have to lie low. Penetration strategies, branding myself, positioning myself there. Then only every common man should know my brand. Is it 2x, 3x or 4x or multiple x? I will be able to implant not by one service which is a product or service. One functional aid. If I am manufacturing a product, the quality of the product is by the employees who are manufacturing it. Their knowledge is very important. And when my marketing team is able to go and sell it to the appropriate consumer, how what they are committing. And for this manufacturing, if I have an uh, investment capital and working capital required, <coughs> The finance team who is giving an optimized method of resourcing fund. For all these functional area, an efficient human resource department who is able to hunt ideal head, head for this, each of the functional area. Not only that, whether I am on a right track or not, I need a management information system. Where am I actually having a pitfall? How I can raise? Where have been the indicators and recording all the information of my performances and non-performance. All these are together with giving a balanced scorecard of my business performance. Each functional area, its deliverables are input to another functional area. People fail to understand this. Every functional area, people who are supposed to go and sit there, a person who is interested, that's what we studied till yesterday. If it's an accounts person, they have to be conventionally investigative and enterprising high. Somebody who is in the marketing, they have to be enterprising, social, artistic or conventional. If it's an engineer, realistic, investigative and conventional, in conventional engineering cases or artistic. The new age careers in IT, their investigative, conventional and artistic are very, very highly written. So this way, we have understood the interest to go and sit in a place. But how long do I like to stay there? You can find that even from a 13, 14 years old boy. Because each of them who are expressing their interest, they also have something called personal values at work. When they meet those values, they are highly motivated. In our research, we have identified about six critical values. Sorry, not six, seven, seven critical values. Each values, each value are connected to the career interest, which keeps continuously nurturing the interest to stay in a career for a longer time because the maximum growth in career happens in the first 10 years. Meeting these values are actually, you know, playing a vital role. If interest is matched, their total volt of charging will be there. 0.5 volt of trickle charging is required. That is given by the values, which keeps on stating them. See, if I am coming to the work, I consider this as a value. Will I be able to get it or not? When an organization is expecting or experiencing a person during hiring, speaking about their values at work to the functional area they are connected with. Salary or designation of job security is not a matter at all. How am I very confidently saying that? Let us take the first value, creativity mentioned here. What is creativity? Not doing any routine work. 
for me value is doing different different work variety of work showing in versatility in whatever i do i am able to improve aesthetics in whichever area i am work not a monotonous type of work something which is you know out of the box driving me always to think laterally which are the career areas that creativity will be very high artistic interest do you agree yes a person who is having a creativity as a value he or she can be highly nurtured with careers connected with artistic interest so artistic interest and creativity are hand in hand next adventure if you talk if you talk to a 15 year old boy or a girl tell me what is adventure the boy or girl will say mountaineering trekking and scuba diving why gliding in high rise areas they have a risk of falling down parents don't easily permit children correct during my schooling i love sporting i was one of the prominent sports player in my school hailing from a very orthodox family they said no i never listened to them my brothers will be playing seven stones cricket everything i'll go and play with them sometimes they'll scold me they will hit me also you hit i find excited sporting is an excitement for me so i will continue to do that with a family history of high diabetics and high level cardiology problem touch wood thank god even at 53 years old today i am actually stable no diabetics no hypertension nothing i still go to my gym because you know that sporting has actually been soiled in why i am saying this is getting into hobbies in early age are going to keep on engaging it excites them and if they are excited with the hobbies they would be always searching for careers which would give them a similar excitement a boy or a girl who is actually going for a mountaineering or trekking even without the parents knowledge they have not had a fall falling down they have come back they have beaten the risk correct of falling even if they have actually fallen also they have caught, you know come back without any injury they consider that as an achievement it excites their mind they get enchanted they would even now come and tell the parent i went see i have come safe and see such people who are working for these kind of hobbies you can see they will be working in their career also in careers job natures related to high rise areas today fortunately even during your travel you are connected the networking is strongly supporting why the cellular operators the network operators in regular intervals have erected the cell phone stations those bts is not actually anyway you know about uh, 10 or 15 feet height minimum 200 feet height to implant or erect such a tower imagine the amount of excavation required settling you know uh, erecting it commissioning it and also maintaining it we keep speaking about because of cell phone sparrows have come to extinction no sparrows today radiation correct did the radiation affect only sparrows has it not affected uh, human being how many careers have occupational hazards not only in cell phone radiation radiative areas wherever you find that it could be furnaces it could be factories any kind of a nuclear processing people who are working for the field of geology hydrologist mineralogist who go under earth and actually you know uh, extract minerals paleontologists who are actually you know petroleum uh, 
uh, derivatives, right? They take fossil fuel derivatives. So all these people can get buried, isn't it? There is a life risk, isn't it? If I'm speaking about risk, should we only speak about the physical risk? In Middle East, scuba diving is one of the highly regarded knowledge area. We know that, right? So their undersea mineral is the petroleum products, correct? In order to go and research on this paleontology, this is very much required. There is a career called oceanography in agriculture. What is that? Understanding the natural available things under the uh, sea. There is an ecosystem under the sea also. We have known about coral plants, correct? Yeah. Which gives us, you know, uh, it's a semi-precious stone for jewelry making. That's what we know in common. But it is the one of the key responsible, uh, you know, substance to maintain the ecosystem mm -hmm. for the undersea living organisms. It can be all uh, biological, biologically, you know, aquatic animals or even plants. A recent research has said that that coral plant is going towards extinction. One percent is only, you know, existing because of the global warming. There are many people who are doing a lot of research under sea. They can be hit by any sea animal. There can be any kind of poisonous emission of gases under the sea. Very dangerous to lose life. Think of people in public safety and security. Particularly the soldiers, border security forces. They have a high risk of dying. A commercial pilot, every journey is a risk. Risk of getting hijacked or risk of getting, uh, you know, the engine failed or fuel getting, fuel tank getting, you know, uh, leaked. For some reason, if they're in the air, if they lose, the same as in case of a sailor, right? High level risk they are actually experiencing. Do we think that uh, you know, they are paid high, so they are actually going for that. No. The risk enchants them. They know that there is a risk. They wanted this risk. Business also has a risk. Well-established conglomerates, when they want to segment into different verticals or different horizontal segmentation, they are giving a try. There is a risk. There can be a business financial risk. In their, in their business life cycle, from the introduction, growth, maturity, saturation, instead of crossing these stages, during the introduction only they are possible to decline. They know they are open to experience such a risk. People who are into finance, bankers, operate with a value called spread Taking money from the public as a deposit, lending that money as a borrowing, lending lo loans, both of them includes suffering and enjoying interest. The in-between value is called a spread. If they happen to lose the money of which they have actually sent, if it's a housing loan, it can be recovered. Vehicle loan, it can be required. Appliance loan, the appliance can be required. Up, you know, recovered from the defaulters. Where will we put the education loan, agricultural loan? The banks are, you know, directly assassinated, I would say. Whenever a political party, after five years, another new political team is going to come, they will be giving flowery pictures. We will rule off all your loans, education and agriculture. We are for the farmers and the students. You vote for us. Who is facing the risk of money not being there? Right? So, bankers face the high level risk. Financial institutions. Specifically, people who are into the market operating funds. Insurance. A domain which capitalizes risk. 
in uh, abroad countries when a husband is traveling the wife doesn't ask when are you going to come back rather have you paid your insurance premium because her concern is that you know even you die also the money has to be coming to me right insurance is that risk taking is like risk eating for them there is a comedian in uh, uh, in our uh, tamil nadu who used to say this people know that there is a high risk in many professions knowingly they would like to experience that risk because they consider that risk taking is an adventure what kind of careers this adventure is actually a value wherever there is risk taking risk taking is connected with enterprising interest people who ever are into enterprising interest i said about a commercial pilot a merchant navy a marine engineer who is actually into the sailing whatever the careers which i mentioned in business insurance enterprising interest calculates the risk and they are able to uphold is because that adventure always excites beating the risk adventure is connected with enterprising interest next is high paced work environment what is this wherever there is high momentum of energy exchange energy is spent or received how through physical activities correct what is it connected with realistic interest wherever careers where realistic interest is high you can see there is continuous activities as i said i was in my business for 10 years we were you know into electronic manufacturing on customized solutions where i used to visit icf factories coach factories we used to provide them custom solutions i you i i have watched you know 3 kilometers of bay area from one bay an electronically operated crane will bring a sheet metal from there all the cleaning will happen and after another 50 meters is in another bay where the marking will happen and another bay where the drilling will happen and cutting will happen then there will be grinding to remove the burrs then there will be some welding happening sequentially continuously work will be going on by then they complete a complete chassis of a coach body shopping they do it would have crossed at least two or three days and people in uh, you know shifts they'll be working in every manufacturing environment you can see that activities are quite continuous it can connect with any engineering or manufacturing food garments even movie production if any of you have happened to uh, uh, be in a place where any movie is produced visual media you can see not one person will be sitting idle they'll be running between here and there very active they are not only that if you take people doctors when they want to work for a professional practice of doctor when you see that they are attached to the public health administration you see that they value high paced work environment 24 by 7 service the emergency management people who are into public transport system when we are traveling in the night train we will be comfortably sleeping think of those people who are driving the train the engine driver or the station masters of course six hours once they will be changing but there will be a continuous activity in the midnight also there are certain things which are actually happening very actively so you can find that high paced work environment is a value for those wherever people choose and opt for realistic interest related careers high paced work environment as a value is connected with realistic interest next is structured work environment these people you know they demand no ambiguity no uncertainty everything has to be you know very structurally done a rule book is followed everything is as per standard operating procedure and they cannot access you know uh, handle adventure risk take 
everything has to be very systematic. What kind of careers? Careers with conventional interest. There only, there are real-time data, fussy data. Real-time data are automatically organized and structured. Fussy data has to be organized and structured. And they have to work with only systematic method of working. Right? To continue there, this is actually a value. So structured work environment is connected with conventional interest. Next is social service. Three months back, we celebrated our Independence Day. 75th Independence Day, correct? How unfortunate. We are in a position to celebrate our independence. Even now, after the 75 years of independence also, still India is called as a developing country. What is not in India? Because of our wealth only, Mughals tried to come and conquer us. French tried to come and conquer us. British conquered for a longer period. So much of struggling happened because they wanted to update all our belongings. We were actually, you know, highly valuable. We had a lot of natural resources as a wealth in our country. What was not there? Still, it is being called as a developing country. Why? I happened to come across one caption. During George Bush period, George Bush was actually asking Bill Gates, why are you hiring people from foreign countries while our U.S. citizens, many of them are unemployed. He did not directly say India, but Bill Gates got it. He told, if I stop hiring from foreign countries, that too from India, like countries, there will be 10 Microsoft companies which are actually going to be formed. The brain of Indian is such that. You mark it in any area, we have experts. We have people who are actually with excellent knowledge. Be top four consulting company, big four consulting company, KPMG or Pricewaterhouse or ENY series companies. And even, you know, uh, ETA or LNT or, cons you know, any kind of people who are into the engineering segment. Fortune IT companies. Fortune 50 or Fortune 100. You can see 50% of the brain is from only India. All the strategic brain thinking comes from only Indians. Though, why are we still called as a developing country? Because in every country, two things are very, very vital. One is education, another is medical service. What is the fate of it in India? Both of them are costing fortune. India has got the world best knowledge source in education. World best knowledge source in medical. But only thing is there are no so many teachers and there are no so many doctors. Very unfortunate. And for a person to do this also, there is a lot of hangamas. It's costing their fortune. It's become very expensive. America is rich, but that is also a developing country because it is also having this employability problem. Because nobody have understood a simple fact. I need a job and that job is for my survival. To do that job, the knowledge, I should acquire and then go there. Not go there and acquire knowledge. For this, I have to do a graduation and that graduation has to be directly connected to the job I deliver. This knowledge, awareness is not there. If you go to European countries, you mark Rome, Germany, Italy, Spain, anywhere, education is free. For people who are going there for higher education, they only spend on their living cost, not on their education. It is merit merit-oriented education system there. Having gone there, they are not wanting to come this and apply it here. Correct? We are losing. 
our economical status is going down why when there are you know high level employable talents and we have high level natural resources government of india has got lot of infrastructure set up to manage to actually you know work there it requires lots of resources but unfortunately the right heads are not going and sitting there even if they are looking for a secure job of government roles they don't stay there they come back after 4 5 years because they feel that after 4 5 years till then they were puppeted by the elders in the family and they were actually satisfying them either that elder would have passed away or these people would have taken an upper hand then they decide okay i'll quit that and come out this is what is happening why medical is a service where it cannot survive without social interest a person without social interest cannot be there education is also another service illuminating literacy people who are teachers sitting there as teachers also first of all should be having willingness to validate their knowledge unfortunately it is not happening so that they can actually educate the next generation everything has become a money now. to call india as a developing country there is a huge gap between education and employment who is going to take the initiative to clear this or at least work on this we cannot transform everything overnight but we need initiators volunteers career counselors each of you i have huge respect for you you are the one who are going to change the complete scenario your knowledge matters a lot with a causative approach impactful to the society nobody is asking you to do this at pro bono please don't do that at pro bono pro bono at all ganesh you were saying that you went to some uh, uh, you know uh, uh, ashram and you were actually sponsoring for their food correct yes right food is something which act which can be given at free of cost if they don't like it if you have free given food they will throw it they'll dump it also they don't know the value for that food yeah even any kind of advocation you people are giving do not give it at pro bono see why they need it they only those who need only know the value of it you can make a huge transformation all because you will continue to do this if you have social service as a value being impactful if you are in urban every parents can afford to pay because these days both the parents are working think of non urban or rural areas tier 1 tier 2 locational areas they don't even know what is education and employment for them they know only bread and butter if you can make them think know their own self worth wow what a great change is that it is very dramatic cleaning india social service being impactful ratan tata gave around 1500 crores in 2020 for covid relief fund who knows how many people in between swindled it but he was able to give giving money is not only a service social service he gave it in 2021 also he gave it why he earned it from the public he did a business and he made profit and for the corporate social responsibility he served it so that he can have a tax exemption but there are so many warriors doctors as doctors nurses even ambulance operators who died during covid the family member lost them but they strive for it right that is social service right 
So social service is something, a value for people who want to involve into social related things. They are highly interested in serving the society, helping others, wanting others to come out of the problem, right? Yeah. So social service as a value is connected with social interest. Continuous learning, do I need to say? It's definitely a value. I'll come to continuous value shortly. I'll go to independence. I was yesterday speaking about your very first day's job. After you have made yourself move to expert stage and a management is assigned you to orient another person or train another person, that means how much of effort you would have put, how much of indigenization you have done in order to make yourself zero defect. At this stage, the person who groomed you in the day one or in your early period comes in and pokes, what are you doing? I'm training this person with this method. How can you do it yourself? Did you check with me whether if this is going to work or not? No, sir. I did a lot of analysis on this. <laughs> you younger generation, you see, you can't even understand. This has never worked. This will not work. Stop doing it. A lot of non-support will happen in that. In this juncture, what will you do? You will approach the top management who assigned you to do this work. See, these are the methods I am doing. I am finding this person is you know, poking inside. What should I do now? If the management says, what you are doing is quite justified, go ahead. Take accountability on the errors so that you will be able to fix it. Don't bother about that person. It might be this as a communication or that person is a senior person. Without knowing, he will not say. You better follow his instruction. Either of the thing will happen, correct? If the first one happens, you feel that you have independence. You regard independence as a value. You have researched you have permutated and trialed an error. And you have found that this is the best method. And you take an accountability because you've, you have actually analyzed so much. And you want to continue with that. And that is an independence that you demand. When you get it, you are highly motivated. You will stretch and work. You will put extra efforts to ensure that you are sticking by what you are saying. You are highly motivated because you are meeting independence as a value. On the other hand, if it is not there, let you be paid in millions. I don't see an independence here. I don't want to continue here. You would have gone because of it. Correct? You might have been very creatively thinking and doing several things, but it did not work for them. If you are wanting to quit a job, it is only because not only you are interested, not interested, even the values you regard is not considered. It demotivates you to continue there. All these seven are intrinsic motivators. Independence happens whenever we are investigative. We, we want that, correct? When we are researching ourselves, indigenization is actually there and when it is mattered and you know you are given an independence to operate by your indigenization, that's a value you regard. At that time, you don't matter salary, designation or job security. And once you are able to prove that, whatever you demand comes in. Continuous learning, when does that happen? Whenever you are enterprising and whenever you are investigating. That means both the cases. Enterprising, taking a risk and learning. Investigative, researching and learning. In both the cases, there is a learning which is continuous. Correct? So, continuous learning can be associated with investigative interest and also enterprising interest. Which gives an opportunity for them to expand their knowledge, grow their 
So creativity with artistic interest, adventure with enterprising interest, high-paced work environment with realistic interest, structured work environment with conventional interest, social service with social interest, investigative interest with independence, and also continuous learning with enterprising as well as investigative. After the assessment, each of these values are measured in a scale of 100. Basis interest and personality, there are more than 5 or 10 carriers which are matching. Now we need to actually go and figure out what is that they are considering as a value. Every individual can have more than one value. Those values are connected to the interest and informed to them. See, in every milestone after your employment, you have to sensitize yourself what you are valuing you are meeting. And when you are actually, you know, expecting this a job, you can go and definitely have a bargain during your hiring process. See, I am looking for a value at job as this. Will I be able to get it? When a student is very clear about it, they will know their self-worth. They have a statement of purpose where they would like to go. The career growth graph is very consistent. Very assured. So, these are certain things which we regard as values and motivators in every career assessment. To keep on nurturing the interest. How long can I continue? Sky is the limit. So that every stage I am able to see my intrinsic values being met at my job. Which rewards me with extrinsic motivators as salary, incentive, designation, promotion, whatever. I hope you all agree with me. Yep, definitely. What's your view? In short, if we don't have these values, I mean, even though we may have our own interest and we may have our own individual personality, if we are not driven by these values, the career that we follow might not really be useful for us in the long run. Correct. They are not able to state their uh, statement of purpose. Not They are not able to prove their own self-worth. What is my objective? You can see <laughs> the children you were saying, no, yesterday you also uh, serve uh, or uh, assist people in resume building, right? <laughs> These yep. children, you know, when I'm going to see, uh, when I was in my uh, university uh, stint, these fellows will actually, you know, give their resume in single page. The objective, you know, after their personal address and personal information will say, I would like to join your extreme, esteemed company and grow my knowledge. Is the company waiting to grow their knowledge? <laughs> <laughs> Objective is what? I would like to grow in so-and-so stages in my life. All these are actually, you know, as a value which will actually, you know, take me as a ladder to them. Right? <laughs> exactly. They are not able to understand those. Right. That's, that's the reason. Mm. Now you understood what is the reason for the gap. Even when you were actually, you know, trying to talk to a child, a student, or even before employment giving training, not knowing their values, whatever you train them, they will not be making use of. Yeah. No, that's what. What I meant was, <laughs> while I was working there, I was not able to identify these factors. But then like, at probably the last stage of my employment, that is when I realized, okay, these are the things that I need to focus on and that is when like i gave these inputs to my management and yeah they took those inputs but then like i said i had to come out of that place they will do an exit interview during exit interview they will want to know why the staff is left very valuable staff why that staff has left i they did not have that exit interview <laughs> they do a postmortem. in my case it did not happen actually hmm. that means these days, organizations have started to enlist employees as an asset in their balance sheet. That's it. 
right if an organization has no that workplace values they will actually not be able to brand themselves very true right the core values and propositions are nurtured by the people in their different functional role and the management is valuing it it's a collective mechanism that's yep. it okay kalit namrata yugender neeraj yes, of course sir. yeah yes ma'am yes so neeraj you are here only no i am here only because you are at office suddenly you yes, might I, i am at office so so there were certain things where we uh, i was making money so i have made money for today so we can we can move ahead now <laughs> <laughs> i was wondering whether you were you were act- otherwise you know you can, you staying quiet is highly impossible No, no. I was, I was there only. I was hearing everything. The problem is today I don't have my laptop. I have given it to uh, the person for. Uh, I was telling you the camera is not working, so that's okay. the issue. So I, I am taking it from mobile. So it is. It takes. Uh, there are certain technical issues there. Then. I understand, but I think uh, the uh, discussed areas reached you out, correct? Because yes, I have. Because I, have I feel problem. that there is a vacuum if you don't interact. No, 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 no. I was not interacting uh, purposely, but I have heard everything, and I, I can be a part of discussion if you want to take a discussion ahead from here. Great. So, so far we have discussed four dimensions, which helps us in identifying how much a career can be suitable for an individual. Understood? When we combine and ask these emotional questions. we are able to find what kind of work nature they are going to be ideally fit this will be as a co- comprehensive career planning assessment on the psychometric fit okay so yeah. this will be applied for candidates who are doing their 8th 9th and 10th which is their middle school or 11 and 12 which is their pre university studies or graduates who are in their university education at ug or pg these areas we will be asking them common questions to all these okay so there is no change in questions related to personality interest values and learning style for these segment of people till they complete graduation and are they are, they are employed who are all freshers all of them will have the same question bank for these four areas so that till their milestone of employment is reached we don't want to keep on changing their interest and personality that's a whole idea okay yeah. to find the different issue there is one more psychometric part called as emotional quotient this we include into the assessment only from the graduate stage as a fifth dimension till the school it is only four dimension psychometric when it comes for people who are in um, a graduate currently doing any year of their graduation till they are freshers or even employed early mid or senior career right we include this emotional portion because we need to see what we we'll, rather than doing a planning for them they are already in their intensive part of their career journey if they are facing any struggle what is the struggle they are facing right why they are struggling that is something what we are objective to detect each of you might have found this in many social medias they'll put a cartoon of their boss and say this man is the world's worst boss correct <laughs> it could be a, ma- a male boss or a female boss they'll put a cartoon of them. you can see those are all high in cora or linkedin or somebody who is into the 4 5 years of experience they would say middle age mid career i'm in a environment where like me there are another 5 10 people of course all of us are actually getting same uniform salary but somehow 
there is a rivalry between all of us. Always I sense a Vaga border at office. Right? You can see both are tame. India and Pakistan at Vaga border. You can find that between the gate, you know, nothing will happen. They'll be mindful. They'll be marching here also. We'll be marching. But that tension, sensitivity will be always there. Don't know when the fight will erupt. I find that that fellow compared to me is not very experienced. But somehow he is able to, you know, conquer every other. He plays a smart role. I don't like that fellow. Because whenever I approach, he is not actually supporting me. A difference in opinion with the same level of people. These guys recently joined. See how much salary they are growing. So many years I worked. I put all my hard efforts. Now only I've got this salary. These guys just finishing an MBA and coming, they're getting this salary. People being at equal level also cannot tolerate others equal to them. Or there is always a fight. Like, you know, the uh, I'm in a top management. I have a team of people assigned to me. You see, they are not listening to me. They don't even understand why I am there. When they are doing any mistakes, when they are not doing things properly, when I actually call them and actually warn them or tell them that they are not supposed to do it, they are not listening to me. They are not following me at all. They keep, you know, loitering around as though they know everything. My people who are reporting to me are not even listening to what I am saying. Every crazy thing is happening to me only at work. Every el Everyone else is happy. My elder brother is happy. My younger brother is happy. Even my sister who went for a job, she is very happy. She is enjoying. Me only. I think I'm, I've been, I, I, I'm experiencing a bad curse. Somebody has cursed me that I should not be, you know, uh, uh, you know, peaceful in my job. No peace of mind. You can see such people sometimes they will cry. They'll broke, they'll break down. And men, you know, they won't cry. Image. They'll lock all their pressure. One day, suddenly, you know, no neuro or heart attack. Or no, I don't want. I will be actually very clear. If I find something is wrong, let me shout at them. So these are a lot of emotional reflection that is highly prone at workplace. Correct? Do you agree? Yep. Have you ever read or listen to these kind of voicing of voice of these days one uh, uh, you know one another latest trend they put their status in whatsapp <laughs> right <laughs> so they think that their stress at work is busted that method correct yeah. there are people who are learning to burst their stress even at graduate stage I learned this from my daughter. While she was doing her uh, undergraduation in uh, Max Statistics and uh, Economics, during a value education class, there were at least, you know, in the auditorium, the faculty was presenting and around 200 students, it seems, of different disciplines from the BSc program. The younger daughter. She actually, you know, uh, uh, was nodding, to the, nodding her head for her next uh, sitting girlfriend. She got noticed. The teacher raised her up. Likita, get up. Why are you not attentive? No, ma'am, I'm attentive. Okay. Now tell me, how will you manage your anger? She was seeing here and there, all direction. I'm asking you only, how will you, how will you manage your anger? Teacher, you give me good food, teacher. I will control my anger. She's such a foodie girl. She has a food block. Whatever she cooks, she will go on. That means... People have their own stress bust. Few people say, I listen to music. 
and at work also they'll be listening to me. What is your problem? I'm doing it. Few people need a digital detoxification, correct? Every day, one hour, I won't touch my mobile, I won't watch TV. That happens at my home. Otherwise, everybody keep on spiting, you know, swiping. See, whenever we swipe, you know, when you're seeing multiple social medias, the touch phone, we are actually having an A for knowing more. Whenever we ask for knowing more, there is a hormone called dopamine. The brain secretes it. There is an optimization count of secreting this dopamine. When somebody, what next, what next, what next, when they keep swipe, swiping their screen, too much of dopamine is you know, uh, produced. Which is not good for a neurotic condition. It's a news. Some way, they are going towards a different direction. How to break my stress? They have to go for counseling. Mentoring is required. People dealing with mental health. One of our counselors told, my counseling student has been recommended psychology as actually, you know, 100% suitable career. Clinical psychology. The parent refused. Doing psychology and all is waste. They become mad or they are dealing with mad people. Psychology means there is a perception that it is about madness. These days it is called as mental unhealth. Whether their mental health is there or not there. Yes, and I think you are correct here, Radha. Um, uh, even when it is talked about uh, mental, uh, say, psychological counseling also, which is... Uh, which is a very simple uh, procedure today. People oh. think that the person has gone mad. So that's why he needs the psychologist. Correct. Right. And I'm working with, I'm working with, I, I, I think I, I have shared, I'm working with the mental health program of <laughs> government of India, oh. you know, with the, with the collaboration of the university <laughs> here, which is called CCS university. Oh. And there is an MHN program, which is an NGO. I'm a part of it. And we deal with certain with these types of things daily basis. They would rather go to a clinical psychologist, take the antidepressant medicines. Uh, that is okay with them, but they will not take counselings. Correct. Even going to clinical psychologist also, when they are actually you know getting into a therapeutic process, not giving medicines. See the anxiety and depression. What they can do, they'll give them a sedation and calm them. That's all. A calm yes, is enough I for think, them. I think that is more uh, more applicable for the metro cities. Correct. You know, in the smaller cities, it is not happening. They 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 just like in Meerut, I can tell you, the medical fraternity is has become so mean that they are into uh, only mincing money. Correct. So they'll keep on giving the antidepressant for uh, to the uh, patient. The organic for, uh, method of, of giving a solution is lost, Neeraj. Yes. Everything has got an organic method of approach. People yes. fail. They want everything, you know, a quicker approach or a fast track yes. approach. That's all. Yes, and that's the that's the reason people are making money out of it. Correct. Every area is getting capitalized. When I moved to Bangalore from Chennai on my husband's transfer, initially for two months I joined an Ayurveda hospital. I, I was actually a center manager there. I cannot stay there. I couldn't stay there beyond two, min, two months. The CEO used to ask me, Radha, why are people not falling sick here? <laughs> I need patients. <laughs> he was asking that. No. I, that. I am suggesting you to go to a mental hospital to prove that you are not insane. I said this to him. Yes, I uh, there is a there is a parallel industry which is running here, which is which is into uh, referring patients to the hospitals, bigger hospitals than this. This is this is a parallel industry here. In the, in the small cities, you will find it as an integrated medicine. <laughs> Inter integrated medical support. They mm. they mix and match fusion things. Ultimately, if it solves the purpose, fine. 
the moment yes. you are getting yourself you go for a master health check up all new diseases you will get to know you want to learn about new diseases go and get once yourself medically checked medical is becoming a confucius system now absolutely no people have a fear right everybody have a fear lack of self awareness ganesh was also saying and you were also saying see there are five important elements which says the says about the emotional stability of an individual that's what we call it as emotional portion this is something which is an easy diagnosis that to know the reason or cause for why they are suffering the first indicator is self awareness lack of self awareness how many people know who i am what i am with whatever i know where till can i go after this what nails do i need to learn and with that learning where else i can go or can i not grow beyond this am i experiencing a career plateau what is career plateau plateau is a high rise surface but which has got no further growth correct yes many people experience this when during 40s and their 15 years of experience disallows them to go and venture into an area of their passion why they feel that this is a new area to me i may not be able to get paid what i have been enjoying all these days correct many people fail to understand and map themselves to a second innings there can be also third innings the second innings can start parallelly with the first innings yesterday i had a call from one of the directors from oracle i trained him somewhere in uh, june 2020 2020 not 2028 it was in uh, 2021 june that patch you know i had a security architect i had a chartered accountant i had a dancer two students who had just finished uh, msc in psychology such a lovely enterprising batch like yours very interactive he called me out yesterday he told that radha and your before i quit oracle i joined another company where it was a very very super good role but now i am actually to get retired i another 10 months old required so i am planning to quit he was subtly subtly you know starting to do counseling and he was asking some things like like that you know step by steps they take baby steps to come out of it. it's possible for each of you you don't need to have an absolute shift from one to another knowing yourself is very much important what meets your passion what is actually your nature what you know what else you need to know more for to learn that you know what are your learning style otherwise what happens when people are not having an awareness and they are random handled by people around them a girl child who says that you know fortunately a girl child who is you have actually suggested her to get for architecture a girl child who is joining a design school the creativity is not only a part of imagination even something original can be presented different right it comes as a part of the perceiving nature the girl is not at all imaginative but she is very 100% perceived she can do everything very creative in the design schools so what is the practice you know they make children they give them a time project then in that project they'll have three review stages when the project is actually you know prepared step by step in the review stage when the child is presenting her work the teacher will say this is not enough this somebody else has already done because she is more sensing she can only replicate that replication she can do it creative the teacher says no no not this she will go and do some correction and come back again they'll say i want more i want more you have to think out of the box i want more i want more where will she go for that buttermilk maximum she has churned what she is possible she is not able to imagine at all she is actually a sensing girl 
where is she supposed to be with sensing and perceiving she is supposed to be in photography not in a design school do you agree what will happen every else every others in front of me they are all doing well why i am not able to do i am not able to do it directly demotivates them how can a person survive in an environment when they are not able to perform performance is directly proportional to recognition salary incentive appraisals in, or, or even you know promotions are not given for doing the current job well taking up additional assignments already i am not effective see everybody is given an opportunity why nobody is zero potential everybody has an efficiency but their efficiency is not properly understood what is efficiency efficiency is an ability to do a job with the available resources this is what economics gives a definition about efficiency no one is zero potential everybody has that potential all that matters is the effectiveness to complete the job assigned meeting the result criteria correct meeting the result criteria then we are called that we are also an effective person that's what organization keep doing ganesh no wonder if your organization kept doing that <laughs> if you consider a student who is in school level when they are taking an examination when are they taking the examination after completing 10 year 10 months of academic studies correct the yeah. 10 long months of acquiring knowledge in the academic subject their effectiveness is tested when and how in a 2 and 1/2 hours time of examination correct yeah. there if they are able to perform we call them that they are learning effective right they are given an opportunity to learn how is it actually understood by their iq level correct intelligent portion a child who is getting into a school in grade 1 is expected to have an iq of between 40 to 50 that's a scale if somebody is having a learning disparity attention deficiency learning disability or they are very hyperactive all these doesn't allow their iq to perform so they report after an iq test at least in 20s and 30s they have to be handled as special health child correct mentally special health child but a normal human being who is actually in the maximum calm they begin their iq level from 40 or 50 and year on year they do their education learning newer points of that subject keeps growing to 70 80 90 100 110 150 150. by the time they complete their post graduation but there are prodigies like our bill gates whose iq level was 180 but he spoken more because he formed microsoft how many unknown people in india are there who have crossed 200 as their iq mensa levels if you surf and see there is a girl by name vilasini from tirunelveli district in south tamil nadu this girl when she was born 30 days only she was actually striving to str or struggling to uh, live after 30 days some magic happened she survived but magically in her 9 months she started to completely vocabulary she was very comfortable speaking at least two or three languages okay then at two years she started participating in debates and winning prizes then she went into her school education twice she got double promotion while she was around 13 or 14 years when she was doing her ninth class she had to discontinue her school you know why she was invited by isro okay and offered an integrated studies in network and communication engineer this girl did an 
integrated program of five years. And she was actually hired in ISR. She was assigned a project to complete in two years, which she finished in 48 days. When they tested their IQ, when ISRO awarded this, her IQ level was 222. How many people would have heard about such children? These are exceptions. But normally IQ keeps growing till the IQ is reaching a particular level. Their EQ matters a lot. EQ constitutes an efficiency, effectiveness and efficacy. We would have heard about only efficiency and effectiveness. There is something more called efficacy. What is efficacy? When a child is actually taking an exam, <laughs> there is a metric attached to calculate the effectiveness. Maximum mark to be secured is 100%. Correct? But do they declare anybody scoring between 0 to 100? That is 1 to 100. Can we consider all of them are effective and pass them to the next class? Not possible, no? The education system, the school administration, assigned minimum acquiring 40% to be considered as pass. Correct? When I went and told my father, Appa, I have actually scored 193 in my uh, zoology, 189 in my chemistry. In my class 12, he told, so what? People who scored above 71 also passed and you have also passed. Nothing big change. He told me, my father told me this. I felt, you know, how to react? I don't know even how to react to it. From 40% to 100%, everybody is passed. The degree certificate is just saying that, correct? Or my, my higher secondary certificate just says that you have passed, correct? But if I want to, it happened somehow. I, I like that subject. It went well, well. And I wanted to do biochemistry. He told, no. You did not desire to get that mark. Had you desired to get that mark, you would have got. You go to English literature. I had to follow. That's all. But fortunately, that was also another subject of my flavor. But still now, I keep, you know, craving in my mind, I should have done something related to biochemistry. This is still haunting my mind. And I do private researches like this many. That's why I am actually pacifying myself. I can't become a biochemist now. Correct? That age is gone. I was effective. But what did I do about my effectiveness? I didn't work on it. People are actually, you know, running to satisfy others. They are only considerate about the effectiveness. The effectiveness is always meeting the result criteria set by others, not by ourselves. It is efficacy in a person which makes them desire a result criteria. And it drives them to achieve that. Maybe in the process, in the first stroke, they may not be successful. But it makes them continuously improve. After Hiroshima, Nagasaki, uh, you know, atomic blast, we never thought that Japanese people would come with extraordinary brains, correct? What a rise it is. They are the one who introduced something called continuous learning. What is it called as Kaizen? So fortunate to have worked, joined a Japanese company. My very first job was with Hitachi. The culture, those team of leaders who inculcated in me, I'm still till date, you know, reflecting in any of my profiles, whichever I have. It was actually a blessing in disguise for me. They taught me how to keep on continuously improving. What is efficacy? Such people, you know what they will do. They will matter their not extrinsic motivation only. They will voice out. Whenever there is no extrinsic motivation, they will voice out. They will ask for it. They know to cry. A crying baby will be able to have its feeding. They will know that. But however, more than that, 
they'll always looking for their personal values to be met so that they are intrinsically motivated intrinsic motivation always makes a person aim for something and work for aiming that reaching that aim point they'll be constantly indicated with www under two scenarios this is what was actually inculcated in my mind what is the www what went well and what went wrong what went well always helped me in patting myself right and you know my boss told me that guy he is from iim he told me that whenever you have done anything good if you are able to sense it it's gone well don't even waste a minute go and stand in front of your mirror and look at your own eyes it will it will give you an unbelievable energy to you, which i am meticulously doing after completing a batch of training every week i have two batches morning one batch with you another batch of international uh, white label which is happening between 3 to 6 and every saturday when my counselors come and tell me radha i scored 85 i scored 90 i scored 100 i will meticulously go and watch myself in in front of a mirror it gives me an esteem depression as a teacher i see that you know my piece is there what i am searching is there what went well equally what went wrong nobody has failed as of yet but in the controversy people putting all the efforts they don't listen i keep on modifying what went wrong why are they not participating i keep them assigning something i do any kind of work like this because what went wrong always you know protects me it keeps my ego always not letting down in front of others generally people think having ego is bad not ego is not bad it they have not differentiated between ego and prejudice ego makes a person plan in advance it doesn't let us let ourselves so that you know more than others coming and spotting a mistake on me i'll be extra prudent so that what went wrong i don't keep arguing with them because of this this happened before it could get escalated i'll find the root cause for it and see how that can be brought into control normally people work only after the damage is happened and at work you know when this is identified by others who are ready to wait and stab us an argument and a, a countering encountering goes there as though you have not done any mistake i will trap you when you are doing a mistake there a conducive work environment is greatly hit harmonious relationship is greatly hit people keep into rival waiting for others to do mistake and trap them in that mistake but a person to err is human doing mistake is not wrong but continuing with that only is wrong taking correctiveness action and you know taking an ownership on that will make us tell yes i spotted this these are my corrective actions they will not be giving us reasons rather working on the reasons and you know they will actually know to have a high level interpersonal relationship say i am struck here can you please help me they won't feel that they are bowing down to ask for a help or support or they will know important situations that is intrapersonal see i am struck here if you help me we are mutually getting benefit they you know indirectly discussing your barter arrangement barter system both of us are going to get benefit come on let us together solve there is a problem which has happened let us together solve both of us are going to be benefit where problems are handled issue specific <clears throat> instead of handling it person specific where there will be an harmonious relationship always valuing for each other's opinions i matter what you emote you also please emote what i matter other than that no 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 there is no a second chance for you 
give me one more chance no there is no second chance you have not performed i will not agree with you you have to be removed is actually a non empathetic approach generally everybody will commonly know but empathy in emotion quotient i would say it's a two way equation it should be actually also a making us voice out at an important situation tolerance people speak about tolerance why should anyone be tolerant a person continues to be tolerant as long as the damage or the negative effects are on others when they are going to lose they will not be tolerant they will burst out one of my school friend we are still connected our alumni of school colleges in my ug pg everyone are connected that fellow he worked as a finance manager in an it company i did science he did uh, we split in the 11 and 12 he did his commerce he worked as a finance manager in an it company suddenly he told when in 2020 august he told rather we, i, I uh, quit my job i asked why we used to meet virtually okay we'll have a common meet or sometimes we'll have a physical meet also during covid situation we had a virtual meet he said that rather i quit i asked why i my company uh, uh, put me into wr wtr what is wtr older days when an organization doesn't have an order there is no any uh, uh, order for uh, uh, production okay they don't want to keep paying uh, uh, salary to the uh, people who are uh, you know the workers they'll send them home and once the order resumes then they'll be called for till then they don't need to be paying salary that was called as layoff as per different industrial acts it is actually uh, you know almost abandoned but a, a reincarnation has come called wtr when an organization is facing a financial crisis it happened for most of the organization because of circular money motion during covid period that means we were speaking about salary right salary is very important salary is very important in any companies where there are people paid high salaries those are the ones who are spotted whenever there is a crisis happen he was actually a uh, deputy manager accounting and finance all of them were in a scale of about uh, 10 lakhs or so per annum he told they asked me to uh, you know, i asked what is wtr they told that to work for only 4 days in a week jolly good man you have one more day already saturday and sunday you are paid holidays one more day either you take the off on friday or monday you will have a long weekend long weekend you can enjoy so shut up brother they reduced my 20% of salary <laughs> i asked why they said that you know uh, the production team has to be paid the money has not come from the uh, uh, you know the uh, datas so i told them it is a stop gap arrangement for this why should you need to quit there has been days where i have performed you know 150% that time they didn't in, you know incentivize they didn't recognize or acknowledge i thought they will appraise me they'll send in one next appraisal now they are coming and saying that you know they are reducing my salary which i cannot agree now i am quitting i told is this done for only you no no all group of managers they have identified a stratified group of managers for all of them 20% then i told it is actually a corporate governance they have not done it for only one there is no any animosity on you no i cannot agree i have performed 150% that time they did not sense to actually give why should i adjust now then i told it is your mistake lack of empathy in yourself when you felt that there is something injustice you have to voice it out that time and you did not voice it out and that has been carrying as a baggage in you now when an organization is in a situation you want to quit did you know how much you have deserted your work that you are responsible for he had completed 4 years and 7 months he was very high level attitude talking rather just like that i can get a job that's not a problem after moving to chennai in uh, september august 
we met once in september still he is jobless i asked him what are you doing all my savings are going on here i think of doing starting some business oh very good what business you only have to help me i am wanting to become a career counselor for him career counselling is a business i told him don't even step this side a person who has no empathy for yourself how can you understand the position of which career wise why they are stressed and what is the cause for this stress you won't show any empathy on them no no rada i will uh, assign counselors under you train them you also tell me how it is i told i will not do it as a friend you come home i will cook for you right i will visit your place we will exchange for our relationship for knowing each other and we will have mutual family functions professionally i may not be able to do justice i can't turn you you are such a finance guy you are a thinker you are not a feeler at all at times you know you are such that so a high level thinker you are where you are not empathizing for you yourself do not take up career counseling because it requires a high level empathy he started shouting don't uh, uh, talk too much all that is that's why i am not talking too much I, you asked me an opinion i gave you my opinion for which why are you actually shouting that means when he is not able to be effective it makes them you know take repulsive actions they react they stimulate what you talk they stimulated me to you know react they give us justification the locus of control is missing there what is locus of control people failing to know when to act and when to react what is the difference just with a thin hairline difference of thinking action happens with a proactive thinking which is highly conscious about the repercussions what can be the damage in order to control that damage a huge level of thinking with which only an action would be followed but reactions are very instant impulsive it looks at the react you know the damage is only after the reaction is complete because the effects here could be negative effects and most of the negative effects thereafter will be initiated that by that person how to minimize the damage effects how to control the damage that is what will be there all their efficiency will be utilized in repairing the damage caused but their actual result area will not be tapped or very less tapped such people only you can see that they are emotionally shattered they claim that and they keep giving reasons self regulation you can find this in people who are impulsive in their reaction but tough at they will actually you know respond we think that it is spontaneous it is not spontaneous even spontaneous people also think a lot they will be concerned about the reactions and they come and give their inability in a very depressed tone with an anxiety anxiety lot of anxiety things are out of my control i have witnessed even a child who is actually in doing a second year of graduation having high level self regulation well balanced but a 25 or 30 year old person we can see that always they will be very dictative or strong and authoritative and keep on you know claiming with a fight mode they'll quickly jump into conclusions okay so totally emotional quotient is a substance that people fail to understand in a given situation at work how am i expected to behave they have their opinion one minute one minute the courier is Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>
emotional quotient its high level balance each of these indicators are measured in a scale of 100 when their score levels all of them are above 80 you can see they just don't carry production they can't stop themselves being product what next what next what next this is my next assignment this is what i need to do they'll be always on a drive this is why we say emotions drive people and people drive their performance the emotions can be connected with having high level self awareness equally known to have a maintain a equilibrium between intrinsic and extrinsic motivations associating with people with relationship having empathy for ourselves and also others and also they will be able to well behave in situations things will be in their control these are all called as emotional intelligence a person who is job ready employment ready that means that generally you know the performance management people look at this angle 80 20 principle 80% of the hard skill towards the 20% of the soft skill this is what is going to help them stay in a career for a longer time or grow in a career and reach the maximum heights that they are desiring which we call it as an efficacy this does not decide which career to choose in the process of their career journey the education starts at graduation to prepare them professionally maybe during education while they are acquiring their core competency and their under graduation or in their post graduation acquiring their distinctive competency to face competition and position themselves or a person who is in early career having got an opportunity how to sustain that opportunity and grow from there and from there a tag line to go to the mid level taking up newer assignments additional responsibilities how they are able to you know architect themselves with an ability to be and perform and the performer there and that performance criteria need not be set by others it can be set by themselves so that when they are coming for an experienced life at work of more than 10 or 15 years you can see they are actually you know trend setters they become a role model this is what we call as a difference between production and productivity people who always look to satisfy others they just keep producing that's all had you taken a watch in the industrial bells the factories outside there will be something called 100% 100 ppm what is that 100% production per month 100 ppm more than 100 101 they won't do because that will become their target others who are setting a target to us they'll be trying to squeeze us extract us we'll feel a stress of it but when we are setting a target for ourselves we will work in a motivational motivational way there can be different barriers we'll be able to beat all those barriers so that's about the emotional quotient factor which is only tested in those who are in those who are actually at the graduate and working professional this is included as an another dimension but it does not decide which career but at career what they are actually experience whether they are struggling they are striving surviving or thriving to differentiate between this a knowing is more important that can be done. and in case they fall in short with any of the areas could be in social skills many of the corporate trainers involve in team building knowledge self regulation reflective behaviors at leadership roles empathy or motivation people feel that i don't see a growth at all and you can see that you know many people they'll be appearing for different examinations they are not even able to get opportunity they'll say that i'm still trying for job right unable to prove during hr so 
EQ is very important during their professional preparation for the candy. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Any question from anyone? Are you all there or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma yes. yes, yes. Yeah. I don't know why extreme silence. I was only wondering, checking my mute, whether am I in mute or what? Yes, sir. This emotional question concept is, uh, as you know, that uh, say, it's a confused topic. Uh, yes, what? Are we just listening now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you find that all these are meaningful uh, point of uh, analysis? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. for sure. Uh, even, I mean, uh, when we started of hiring for a candidates, so previously we used to considering the people with verbal communication and this verbal ability, this kind of stuff. But after that, we we used to consider these things also, these mm -hmm. emotional questions. So how Very they used to react when the difficult situations come. So what they do when they have a failure, what they will do when someone Correct. scolded them, these kind Correct. of things. Correct. Okay, so you will take a break and come back. Yeah, ma'am. Sure. Time 1.15. We'll have today's session till 2 o'clock we plan, no? Okay, ma'am. Five minutes break will do? Yes, yep. ma'am. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
I'm back. So everyone is back. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Now the next dimension is about the skills and abilities. So far, this dimensions, whatever we discussed, all are all largely speaking about suitability of a person to a career. All right. So yep. the first four dimension helps in planning a career for an early age children. But when it comes for graduates or working professional, a planning may not work, but rather a counseling directly can have to work. So you have to understand what their experience. So you include also emotional quotient for that segment of target audience. But for all of them, we need to matter their eligibility. How much are they eligible for the job? So to be test their current level of skills and abilities in the form of an aptitude test. Okay, when we test this aptitude, we don't actually uh, uh, intend to line up all of them in the same sequence. Like uh, lining up a lion, horse, giraffe, tiger, snail, tortoise, and tell that everyone will have same uniform method of eligibility. That's not fair. Because a fish's ability has to be judged by its ability to swim, not by climbing tree. If the proficiency is required to climb tree, then a fish should not be assigned on, correct? So therefore, what we are doing is we give a first level of importance for the emotions which can drive their skill and ability. And we do test them as uh, uh, what is their current level of skill and ability is. We cannot assign a student uh, who is interested to become an engineer. And that's also you know, reflecting in their psychometric assessment. They are not engineers immediately. They have to actually work for making themselves ready to become an engineer. We apply all these eight multiple intelligence tests on them. First is numerical. You must know numerical is about the number skills, mathematical high level knowledge, logical ability, <laughs> That is about the ability to resonate. The conductive or inductive logic or cognitive reasoning. Verbal ability, it is ability to communicate. Usually in every verbal test, English is considered as a universal language. So the proficiency in English grammar is mostly tested. Clerical and organizing is about administrative skill. How the data are collected, curated, recorded, and when it, when it is required, you know, it is organized and we are able to retrieve it. So these are all coming under the administrative skills. Spatial and visualization. See, if I'm going to ask each one of you, imagine that there is a glass pot in front of you, which is filled with water. The upper surface, there is a dead frog floating. And one more lotus flower is also floating in that wall, in that water, inside the pot. I'm asking you to draw that as though you're seeing it from the bottom of the pot. It's a glass pot. You can see through, right? How that dead frog and also lotus flower from the bottom looks for you? If I say this, sometimes in the class, they start drawing. They say, literally, I am started drawing, Radha. <laughs> okay, to draw also, you need to imagine it. It is, not, it is not really in front of you, correct? You have to bring it to your imagination. Your mind is thinking about it and you are imagining it. And that you are visualizing in your mind. Then only you are expressing who likes a frog? Nobody likes. Where will you imagine? No, no. <laughs> it was a question which was put to my elder daughter in 2011 in her NATA exam. When she appeared for, not 2011, ah, 2011 in her NATA exam. Or she was asked, you are a batsman. 
you are facing the pavilion end whatever you are seeing in front of you right you know you draw it what all she can add leg by off by players a batsman with a bat one bowler how many umpires one or two not only that including the high master lamb under the pavilion board all the advertisements and the people who are the audience everything she has to draw everything she should be able to recall visualize imagine and visualize something which is not really in front of us when we are trying to think over it how it can be done it's a visualization we'll have to bring it to our thought that is not easy it is a skill set correct leadership and decision making skills the one what we dis discussed last eq taking a situation into control and deciding yes or no is not easy it's a skill set social and cooperation skill making such situations which are unagreeable by people agreeable are agreeing people to disagree that's an art it's a skill mechanical skills certain profile demands bodily action physical activity so these are the eight aptitude areas tested in the assessment each of them are measured in a scale of 100 80 and above makes them fit to the next level of skill acquisition in case if it's a school student or if they are already a graduate and holding these skills they are ready for employment and they have to keep growing above 80% but in the event if it is less than 80% normally it is stated as average or low or poor we are positive psychology we need not be calling like that because skill and ability is always acquired from outside if our internal factors are supportive we can definitely acquire it but such way to acquire we also know should know the time taken and the effort supplied the level of preparation they are all complemented by the interest and learning style less than 80% becomes an area of improvement and that is also doable based on the interest attached to that particular skill and the learning style of the individual so that the time taken and level of preparation also decides that they don't need to develop all the skills for example if the student wants to become a production engineer for this their personality has to be introvert sensing thinking and judging for a production engineer they are not extrovert intuitive feeling and perceiving on the interest priorities they can be realistic conventional investigative or realistic investigative and conventional as a production engineer and if their learning style is kinesthetic doing and learning you find that their skill sets what is required to become a production engineer include numerical ability logical ability verbal ability clerical and organizing and a mechanical ability rest of the skill sets its availability is redundant its presence or no presence doesn't matter if these skills are above 80% they are directly ready if it's less than 80% we need to check the scope for development they are decided by the interest available and also the learning style support correct this is what is an approach for counseling isn't it do you all agree right if the student says no 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 i am not a production engineer i am a design engineer numerical logical verbal need not annex clerical it can be with spatial and visualization and mechanics if the person is actually after 3 years or 4 years of employment now they have to take up a leadership position at that time leadership and decision making skills also automatically come by virtue of experience or they can do an ex, you know an education in management studies and upskill themselves correct social or uh, uh, even um, uh, what i say clerical is redundant in an in a design engineer isn't it yeah 
people need to focus what skills are essential for the job not looking to be a jack of all arts and master of nothing we have people such around us correct not working to learn the relevant skill and whatever the skills that they have acquired they make it dormant they don't apply it then how does opportunity you know uh, receive them or how they will receive opportunities there's no chemistry that's all about skills and abilities i got to say we have to test the multiple intelligence and those multiple intelligence required to take up that career becomes highly essential clear any questions yes. on skills and abilities no not at the moment correct now any one dimension so far discussed is you think that is not unessential not at all no all no, no. important correct yes sir yeah, all is important yes sir but yugendra's worry is how am i going to find correlation between all correct yugendra <laughs> Yeah, here are uh, two prospectives are uh, just coming to my mind, ma'am. One is the career counseling and the part, and regarding the hiring also as a HR. Mm -hmm. So normally we don't use to consider all these things, right? So when yeah. we hire a candidate, but now I realize that okay, to acquire a like? <laughs> yes, to acquire a good candidates in a company, who are they really suitable for the company? I just need to take care of those things. their personality their career interest uh, the emotional quotient and this uh, skills and abilities all the stuff everything you have to con underlay right but uh, how are you going to do a holistic recommendations that's the challenge right yeah that's what that's what ma'am right that you are very eager to know right yes. before knowing this to attach them to any career should we have a good knowledge about all the career options yes ma'am exactly <laughs> there are plethora of career options correct if you are trying to classify 20 career clusters under which 154 career paths 3000 plus occupations 12000 plus job profiles using this how do we do a correlation correct first of all you should have awareness about the career paths yes ma'am so that what is the actual work nature demanded how you can connect them psychometric then how you can also con connect with the skill and ability required for this you must be clear about the work natures and occupations correct distribute right so what we do is what we were going to do next is we are going to do a four dimensional analysis model earlier we did two dimensional now we are going to go into four dimensional analysis okay so now we are going to get into massacre uh, <laughs> and ultra massacre yes don't worry i'll make the life simple this uh, <laughs> you made made earlier also very easy right this will be you know making you sit upright with a lot of confidence <laughs> first we will do a four dimensional analysis model which are psychometric dimensions okay we call right. this a psychometric analysis so what are the four dimensions we can consider personality interest values and learning style this is also called as a cluster analysis why do i call it as a cluster cluster means what group correct group acha so what is group what is group here identical common psychometric factors connect with common work natures clear yes they are all grouped as a cluster okay right. so this way industry currently has 20 major clusters okay in every assessment you can find that these clusters are listed cluster list now this is an assessment from the report of a student who is it 8 9 and 10 who is who has studied in 8 9 and 10 because in this stage only 
they don't have any limitations or constraint to go to any cluster. You understood this? Yes. This is the best period for career guidance. Because moving to 11th, they may not be able to take all the careers, even graduates. Understood? Mm. First, uh, I'm showcasing you 20 clusters listed here. Okay. Second, I will explain about the work natures distributed in each cluster. Third, how do you register this knowledge? Okay. Mm. Now you can see according to the student's recommendation given, science, max engineering is on the top. In this career field, what are the work natures very critical? They can become a scientist in physics or chemistry, correct? Right. Can become a mathematician or a statistician, correct? Yes, ma'am. Or they can take up engineering careers like biomedical engineering, IoT, nanotechnology, fashion technology, GIS, or I any of the engineering areas, chemical engineering. Around uh, some 12 to 14 career paths are listed under this career field. Clear? Clear. Next is manufacturing. Manufacturing includes three career paths. One is mechanical engineering. Clear? Second is yeah. production and quality control. Third is industrial design. Understood? Huh. The next cluster here is human service. We are connecting with people. Human. This includes psychology, clinical psychology, counseling psychology, mentoring and coaching. These are all independent career paths. Or it includes anthropology and archaeology. What is anthropology? Till 16th century, anthropology is study about the historical information of people settled in different parts of the world. We know about uh, uh, Romans, uh, Egyptians, Aryans, Dravidians, Indus Valley, Harappan civilization. All these we studied in our till our middle school, correct? In history. Mm -hmm. How these informations were curated. This is a social research. Anthropology. After 16th century only, archaeology came into evolution. Which is a scientific research. Archaeology comes under this career field also. Second is geography. Then home science. And also political science. All these comes under the career field human service. Agriculture includes plant and animal biology. Animal biology, this includes a veterinarian doctor, fishery biologist, oceanography, wildlife management, a civil ranked foreign, sorry, forest officer, geology, which includes mineralogy, paleontology, discussing about, you know, uh, meteorologist, okay, all the earth's crust. Then uh, we have environmental science, agricultural engineering and agribusiness management. All will come under the career field of agriculture. Next is sports and physical activities. This includes a person who is an athlete. It can be into Indoor sports or outdoor sports, even team playing cricket, football, volleyball, or sports management, sports administration. A fitness coach also comes here <laughs> in the gym. Next, even a sports physiotherapist comes here. The next career is bioscience and research. Here we have biotechnology, genetics, clinical research, biochemistry, which is into medical research. We also have uh, archaeology here. Then we also have, uh, uh, you know, bioinformatics and biostatistics. That's a new age career. 
Next is logistics and transportation. This includes all heavy vehicle cargo mode. A commercial pilot, air traffic signal controller, merchant navy, marine engineer, naval architect, all chauffeurs, people who are into railways, roadways, all the people into logistics, supply chain management, aviation management, aeronautical engineering, all will come under logistics and transportation. Health science includes general medicine, a physician or a surgeon, or applied medicine, dentistry or optometry, or conservative medicines, which includes homeopathy, naturopathy, or uh, 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 even Unani, Siddha, Ayurveda, audiology, paramedical, under paramedical, nurse, physiotherapist, dietitian, medical transcriptionist, operation theater technician, radiology technician, lab technician, hospital management, which is, you know, medical data management. All will come under health science. Architecture, which was actually a civil engineering, which was a part of science and engineering till last four decades of 20th century, after high-rise buildings and skyscrapers, an architectural design came, came into evolution. It stepped out as a separate cluster, which includes architectural design, structural engineering, constructional project management, urban planning and town planning and design, landscape designing, interior designing. I don't know if I missed constructional project management. All of them come under architecture and construction as a field. Next is education and training. Education and training includes a school teacher can be at primary level or in middle school or it can be at a PGT level, secondary teaching or a professor or people who are into education administration, librarian or the principal's HM or the dean or correspondent, registrar all those who are into education administration. There is a new age career in this area mm -hmm. called as image consultant. Though that's actually, you know, a new age and a highly remunerated career. So these people make, uh, become, you know, any specific person, a popular person, celebrity. It can be from the field of sports, media or politics. They groom them. They do a life coaching for them. Image consultant. Then next is public safety and security. This includes army, navy, defense. Even an IPS officer comes here from law enforcement. Disaster management, occupational safety, fire safety. All of the people will come from public safety and security. IT. So software till big computers came in 1960s and 70s was a part of science and engineering under electronics. Okay, the Y2K problem gave a birth for a new age, you know, career field. Field itself was career new. Information and technology, software as a service, which is based on the database administration. Product as a service, where automations were introduced. Infrastructure as a service, network beyond geography. Okay, a person who could be a programmer as a programmer, architect or developer or a tester, ethical hacking, security architect or a hacker, video game designing or mobile app development, people who are into business analytics, IT, project management, IT, robotic process automation is a new age career. Data science is a new age career. Data analyst also will come here. Artificial intelligence is a new age career. Blockchain is also a new age career. So all these careers from the field of IT. Next is arts and language arts. Here all design arts, drawing, painting, sculpting, performing arts, visual arts, language arts, all these are conventional careers here. We all know. We also know that psychology, sociology, 
in selective institutions are studied under bsc and ms some institutions under humanities ba and ma now there is a new age career called here liberal arts which constitutes a major study on psychology sociology human relations and also uh artist older days people who are wanting to get into visual media they will do a diploma in film technology or bachelor in film technology in the middle age we know that doing visual communication bsc in visual communication and msc in visual communication they'll be into the me film making media media world visual media now after this ott culture many web series actually made short films made or you know uh, based on a psycho behavior or uh, an impactful sociological requirement or more of a creativity we find lot of people are actually contributing correct in the media such people those who have done uh, liberal arts they can independently practice sociology become a social worker or get into psychology clinical or counseling or get into an artist a creative writer or storyteller or an author or vlogging or they also can go into uh, connecting with hr in um, like you know uh, uh, like how you can there or uh, have taken by uh, it was not actually a plan right you people went into hr it happened that you might have gone into hr even you can study needless be you have to study an mba in hr even this study should also satisfy yes <laughs> okay next is um, accounting and finance wow here we know the conventional career banking non banking finance financial analyst investment analyst financial advisors or uh, people who are into accountancy general accountancy cost management accountancy then we have chartered financial analyst actuarial science and commerce with computer application these are all new age skills cfa actuarial science right business intelligence is cfa actuarial science is for the insurance risk management and there are lot of banking related uh, softwares right bca and mca accounting and finance related uh, database management that's commerce with computer application all these are from the field of accounting and finance next is hospitality travel and tourism hospitality includes hotel management here a guest relation management hotel manager restaurant manager a chef a culinary specialist will come under hotel management and a travel and tourism you find a, a travel operator a tour guide people who are into the aviation crew members stewards and then you have uh, uh, even air hostess they'll also come here event management also comes next is media and communication this includes print media visual media print media is journalism visual media is mass communication and journalism an anchor a vj an editor copywriter or uh, you can find uh, uh, people who are in there's a new age career here also which is politics and international relationship setting up trade equation between two countries one of the highest paid profile in the current situation so new age career much people don't know about it then public administration okay these are all a part of media and communication marketing you know it is actually a separate cluster going to the market and publicizing things about the product or service advertising branding retailing entrepreneurship and management also comes here there's a new age career called visual merchandise the culprit who actually induces the consumers buying behavior correct <laughs> <laughs> if you go to a, if i go to a grocery store i would have budgeted 5000 rupees if i take my daughter i will bill 8000 rupees because every important item i'm adding to the cart there will be something which is unimportant which will attract the next generations she is going to come now tomorrow today tomorrow morning i'm she is doing her mba in a b school 
if she comes now, 23 years old, I'm buying Kinder Choice for her. Which I wouldn't even think of eating. But they like it, correct? You men, when you go to your uh, 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 showroom, you go to a multi-brand showroom to get a discounted price and variety. But you know that other discounts and offers what they display induces you to buy even not only a shirt. They'll create an image in you that you know they, you are getting a discount and you made a profit. Ultimately, they're increasing your buying behavior. Visual merchandise. And you know what? If you are by any chance in your Instagram or any of your social medias and you had by chance seen any kind of uh, Nika or uh, uh, you know any fashion uh, uh, you know uh, advertisements and you've been seeing that for more than one minute you might have not been voluntarily looking to meet see that and every time it will keep popping up that those are all visual merchandise okay they come from marketing and advertising next is legal services this includes lawyer judiciary even a company secretary comes here who is into the corporate law they come here also and also in accounting and things. Then you have uh, um, oh, forensic science, which is into the criminal criminology. These two careers come under the legal services. Government services, anything that's coming under the umbrella of MHR. Careers connected under UPSC, Group 4, <coughs> Group 3, SSC, Short Service Commission exams, Group 1, Group 2 or civil administrative services, or civil economic services, right? Indian economic services. All these comes under the purview of government services. The last but not the least given here under the recommendation is business management. This includes an intrapreneurship role. It can be also an entrepreneur who is wanting to start a business in an established way. This can include finance, management, HR management, project management, marketing management, management information system, management information technology, business analysis, non-IT, project management, non-IT. All these careers will come under the purview of business management. So your 20 clusters are introduced to you. Yeah. Any cluster that or any carriers which I actually shared, did you feel that you don't know about it before? Ma'am, once again, repeat the question. Any carrier which I explained now so far under each cluster, did you feel that you did not know about it before? No, ma'am. We are a little... I think are... no. Uh, there were certain no. uh, certain things which were uh, say heard of, but we never knew what 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 they are into. Like when you talk about manufacturing, so there, there are two. There are there are more derivatives there uh, in it. But you you are, I... you are familiar with them, but you are not actually knowing much intricate details about them, correct? Yes. Yeah, yes. that's true, ma'am. We that, just that know the how it be. basic idea. Na for the namesake, we have a knowledge. Now, first of all, you have to be able to recall these 20 clusters, first of all. Okay, ma'am. I love. If, you, if, I'm, if in a given time, you think for 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, if you take a notepad, you should be able to jot down all the 20. That's your first level knowledge required. Clear? Okay, done, ma'am. Yes. Okay, so here, how can I help you in sustaining this knowledge? Out of this, nine of them are mainstream clusters. Hmm. Eleven are applied clusters. Clear? Hmm. Neeraj, if I remember in the first day, you asked me, will we be knowing about all the 20 clusters globally available, correct? All the career field. Did you ask this? Neeraj? I was on mute. Yes, I asked this. Correct. Now I'm going to answer your that question. Out of these 20, which are globally actually available, 9 of them are mainstream cluster and 11 are applied. 
what do i differentiate by saying mainstream and applied any idea from anyone mainstream i think uh, the idea is uh, nine are mainstream and these 11 are applied clusters it is uh, uh, by the evolution of things in these nine clusters only certain things came up or certain uh, clusters came up and they they were derived into new clusters nothing like that see to get it to every career we need some eligibility right ah uh -huh. that means we are in the process of acquiring competency the foundational competency is acquired in our pre university studies understood mm -hmm. Uh -huh. the core competency is acquired during the undergraduate program uh -huh. the distinctive competency is in the post graduation or in any career advancement program understood okay right the subject what we are requiring to study in to get into that field is the mainstream point Uh -huh. Normally in the eleven and twelve in India, what is the practice? Our conventional method of choosing electives, correct? Yes. We yes. had five major classifications: maths, physics, chemistry, and computer science, or uh -huh. that is called as PCMC, or maths, physics, chemistry, and biology, which is PCMC. PCB, PCMC, and then PCB is. no maths but science and biology correct yeah commerce will have maths but it will not have the core maths it will have business maths yeah mm. the last but not least is the humanities correct arts economics group right yeah it can, uh, be, social science. It can be arts history anything correct social science yes social science right so that is occasional these are the subjects which are actually going to take us to certain careers for example if you take sorry careers such as science maths and engineering manufacturing logistics and transportation architecture and construction information and technology how many are there five <coughs> correct can yes. you step into this without maths and science can you take up no. uh, you know careers inside these field without maths and science no no maths and science are mandatory okay no if you take careers related to agriculture bioscience and research health science can you step into this career without biology no science and biology is mandatory so 5 plus 3 is how much 8 now to get into the field of accounting and finance you can be a maths and science or you can also become a commerce and business maths correct right not only that particularly in logistics and transportation two career paths supply chain and aviation management you can be a maths and science or a maths and commerce also business maths and commerce also. Hmm. yes now these nine are mainstream clusters which mandates a specific subject of study without those subject of study in 11 and 12 they cannot get into this field clear yes now the remaining 11 are applied taking any subject in 11 and 12 takes them there correct hmm. but there is a career in the applied field also when you take sports a sports physiotherapist alone needs biology the other sports player as an athlete or a sports player or sports administration or even a fitness coach any group is fine only sports physiotherapist has to be a biology and science clear yes 
similarly in legal service also for a lawyer any group is okay but a forensic science alone requires science and biology clear right yes now the approach is easy on understanding and listing the first nine mainstream clusters yes got it yep now helping you to understand the second 11 clusters there again you can part it into two <coughs> where if you take careers like business management government services lawyer marketing media and communication hospitality travel and tourism these six careers can they be introvert hmm they have to be only extrovert correct so can you jot down extrovert career fields clear correct the remaining are mixture of both introvert and extrovert you take human service you have an anthropologist who is an extrovert archaeologist who is an introvert home science can be extrovert or introvert correct mentor is an extrovert psychologist is an introvert right political science can be you know extrovert political analyst is an introvert correct yeah okay so sports also generally they are an extrovert but careers like you know chess mind game stodoko and all that requires introvert correct education and training teachers can be extrovert or introvert public safety also can be extrovert or introvert arts and language as well correct yes so recalling the career fields this way do you think it will be helpful yeah it's very easy becomes easy that's all it's a strategy okay yeah now please tell me in this report why science facts and engineering is on the top why this has been recommended as a top career for this boy the field of opportunities will be more ma'am variations and everything then you mean to say that business management has got less opportunities i mean compared to those fields it will be i mean no you can there see uh, what you have to understand here is see when any individual gets this kind of a report they would be undergoing that assessment i hope you remember that we all took that assessment <laughs> Yes, sorry, sorry, ma'am. I got it. I got it. Yeah, ma'am. Yes, it's the top choice. That's what I just. But even I put the human resource on the top choice. Why? Because it's based on the candidate's personality, personality. values, and learning style. Understood? Yes, 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 yes. So that is what mm -hmm. is tested here, right? Yeah, yes. So the score that says the suitability mm -hmm. is yes. based percentage. This is the weighted average percentage of the yes. four dimensions. Clear? Yes, yes, Correct. got it. Got it. The highest is seventy-three percent. Okay. Now, yes. shall we make an assumption? We don't know about what is the interest and personality of the student, but marginally, shall we go closer? Yes, so, that's true. Now, to tell me, see, see the magic. Today is the fourth or the fifth day after we have actively started the subject. Correct. Yeah. Now, tell me, to be in science, facts, and engineering. should this boy be an introvert or extrovert introvert should he be Prime. sensing or intuitive mm. sensing sensing don't you have math statisticians here don't you have a research designer here Don't you have an engineering designer here or a quality control engineer here? Only so like, intuitive also. Yeah, they can be either sensing or intuitive. Correct. That is better to agree, right? Yes. Between thinking and feeling. For sure, thinking. Correct. They are unemotional. Yes. Between judging and perceiving. 
ISTP, ISTJ, INTP, INTJ. Out of sixteen, only four types of personality are directly suitable. Are you clear? Yep. Yes. Are you able to arrive now? This boy should be any one of the four. Correct. Hmm. Yes. Now come to the interest. Tell me yes or no. We cannot do a particularizing because this is a career field which has got more than one occupation. Now hmm. tell me the components which are actually required here. Here you will do only the ginger and cardamom elimination. Is realistic right. interest a part of this career field? In science, maths, and engineering, do you consider realistic interest is there or no there? It's there only, ma'am. There is there. Is investigative interest yes or no? Yes, for sure. Yes. Yes, of course. Is artistic interest yes or no? New ideas, no. invention, innovation. New ideas we come, ma'am, but artistic no. Why will not a design scientist, a research designer, will not be here? Why? It's required. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I mean, uh, yes. No, is social interest required? Social. Manifest. Dealing with no. emotion, helping. No, 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 not at all. We can set, we can set it as ginger, correct? Yeah. Now, but for the enterprising interest. Enterprising, no, ma'am. Influencing leadership. Uh, no, 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 not required. Okay, they are enterprising. Like and hold on, enterprising is there. Why? Which form of enterprising is there? Influencing for business objective, business gain. Do they go and influence others for a business objective and business gain? No. Or leadership and risk taking is it there? No, it's not there. Mm. That's a role of a marketing mm. or business management person, correct? Mm. So, social and enterprising are like ginger and cardamom. Do you get it? Mm. Is conventional interest possible? possible so social and enterprises are enterprising interest are eluded not very a priority but the student can be any of these four any three can be on the top three correct hmm. it can be ric ria irc ira it can be iar icr or it can be for a mathematician it is investigative conventional and artistic nothing realistic for a statistician, it is more investigative, artistic, and conventional. Correct? Right. So, you understood now, amongst these top four only should be suitable for this career field. Why right. business management is in the bottom? For business management, what is the personality required? Introvert or extrovert? Extrovert. extrovert. Only extrovert. Sensing or intuiting? Business management. Intuitive, ma'am. Why not sensing? Sensing. Where will you yes. put a competitive market person? Yes, sensing and intuitive. Ah, there is sales, no. <laughs> sales is there and intuitive and assumption is also there. Marketing is also there, correct? Yes. Thinkers or feelers? Thinkers. Huh? Thinkers. You then you will throw yourself yourself outside from a business management. HR is a feeler, no? <laughs> you can there? Ma'am, uh, yes, HR is a feeler, but if he is a feeler, uh, everyone will play games with him. That's what I'm thinking. All, ma, what I'm saying is, why is HR deployed? An administrator was only reigning, correct? Yes, ma'am. So 
for employee welfare the hr is actually a feeler isn't it yes yes that's true ha uh, so tell me now thinking or feeling or both both ma'am ha uh, there you are <laughs> should they be judging or perceiving perceiving <laughs> no 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 ma'am judging for sure <laughs> i love it <laughs> Can you be at your own whims and fancy? Just in time, you will be making changes at your own whims and fancies. <laughs> you have to follow the protocol, man. Business management. What is management? Planning, organizing, monitoring, yeah. and controlling. Yes, ma'am. It's judging only. Judging only. No perceiving. Yeah, that's what I am. Extrovert and judging are required. See, you make a quick analysis. government service legal marketing media hospitality all these requires only extrovert correct right so is that vouching that the student is not even in an adaptable range between introvert and extrovert are you observing one more point mm -hmm. <laughs> right yeah exciting isn't it many knots are getting untied Now tell me, interest. What should be the primary interest for business management? Yes, yes. Okay. They What should is have the primary interest. They should have enterprising. Very good. Yes. They should be social. Should they be more social or should they be more managing? Managing. Managing more, yes, managing conventional and social. Conventional. Namrata okay. will actually file a case on you if you say ESC. She is not wanting an HR. She wants only a business administrator. Correct, ma? <laughs> ECS. So now, what is mostly required for this career are enterprising and social. Where is that? Who are them lying as ginger and cardamom for the fellow? Understood. Correct. those which all require enterprising interest predominantly since it is actually the least interest for him like a silk sari border they all have been listed at the bottom scale understood right now is it possible for you to interpret a report cluster wise the top 4 or 5 or 6 clusters which project a high level score weighted average score express a more suitability hmm one in the bottom scale less than 40% it actually expresses a very low level suitable the one in the middle is moderate suitable where they can go and adapt as a student in 8 9 and 10 where should the student go more where there is low suitability or there is a moderate suitability or there is a high level suitable where should the student go? they can go into a high suitability career Correct. or if they in certain cases where uh by looking at the other aspects if they think they can do well in the moderate suitability you career you have two mangoes with you which would you like to taste the ripened one or the raw one if you're tang if you're wanting a tangy mm -hmm. taste obviously so on the tangy right. taste i'll uh... go with raw yeah your desire has to be there correct what favors you right exactly hmm. this is actually doing a mass elimination some careers they may be in the form of career clusters or career paths or occupations which the student is claiming it's a dream career for them if it's a true dream of that student they should be on the top they'll be mm. living with that every nerve will talk about that career and what they are dreaming if it is on the top tell them you wanted this your report also is confirming that just proceed if they have been eluded by some people around them which is actually in most of the cases can you give them a justification as what is missing and actually you know elucidate it with them is that possible why they yes, have yes it is possible 
yeah it is possible we can actually but interpret that, yeah moderate is that it can be you know need not be a final decision right a favorite decision they have hmm. to decide it only when they cannot come out of that career which is supposed to be for a graduate or working professional understood right where they can go and adapt a person whom you find conventional social and enterprising or high extrovert intuitive thinking and judging or high can become a civil administrative officer correct hmm. appearing for up to 32 years even the 33rd year i got a rank i will go back i, I can go to it next time i will go their age bar is 32 they can't go there right i'm not speaking about what is optimistic or pessimistic what is realistic exactly hmm. in such cases they can actually spare that and get it to an another why should they go only for government this is what you are going to get them clear right the same conventional social and enterprising is actually good for even a school educational administrator correct mm -hmm. rather that domain what is the skill set required they should go there correct yep they have to so this is about the cluster analysis clear right but we cannot give them a broad understanding of go to this cluster right mm. go to this cluster go to this occupation but to get eligible for that occupation mapping them a right skill is required isn't it correct now we are needing to do the career path analysis was career cluster analysis another massacre or no a mini massacre yeah it's okay ma'am It's okay only. It's not a massacre at all. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Because your troubleshooting is done, correct? That's why I said it's a mini massacre. <laughs> <laughs> Now comes the career path. This is very, it will be very jolly good to understand. Another ten fifteen minutes, okay? Yeah. A five dimensional analysis model, a career path analysis. Here. i will use a venn diagram which you are more familiar correct mm. in one circle i am bringing personality as a dimension no oh, like them in another circle i am bringing interest as a dimension oh my we know this right two dimension already you know yeah. yeah to show this integration i will use only four circles okay in the third circle based on the weightage we give i am actually including values and learning style okay so can you see the four psychometric dimensions are here hmm huh. now i am bringing the fifth dimension in the fourth circle skill and ability can you see this now all the five yeah. dimensions are brought together and yes. there is an integration area where all of them meet together mm. there is an integration area where there is a high level match when personality is confirming you are suitable interest is also confirming value and learning style is also confirming skill and ability is also confirming five times there is a confirmation that you are suitable to this career the careers that fall in this zone are recommended as top choice clear right not all the career paths will be a, be a top choice correct yes there should be a gap so we also give a second layer and recommend them as a good choice where there is some kind of a marginal mismatch i'm sure here you will be very confused let us work on a career can we take doctor as a career and work on it okay to become a doctor what is the personality required introvert or extrovert 
introvert only introvert sensing only introvert sensing only sensing no intuitive correct yes yes thinker or feeler oh thinker feeler yeah. they can be either general medicine as a dentist yeah, yeah they can medicine, yes. they can be oh. a thinker so But tf if it, is, if it is conservative medicines like homeopathy naturopathy they are feelers clear hmm. ft both both they can be thinker or feeler yes you can that it is clear now you had a doubt on the day 2 on this okay they can be if the student is a thinker is he she suitable to become a doctor very well correct yes yes should they be judging or perceiving judging ji judging but in case of emergency services they can be perceiving also oh, dominant correct okay. but when a candidate who is coming to you wanting to become a doctor is istj a perfect suitable personality type yes yes very mm -hmm. now come to the interest what will be the interest required to become a doctor investigative very good after investigation what do they do social very no. good because they connect with the patients correct in yes. order to assure them that they'll save card them correct yes yes after which what will a doctor do should be conventional conventional see they'll get into medical management correct yes yeah which involves what physical activity right they are not into conservative medicines uh realistic general medicine requires realistic correct yes yeah. yes minimum mm. testing is required correct yes medical yes. examination is required correct yes 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 so it is realistic mm. now is it matching to become a doctor by this interest priority yep yeah now tell me the values that a doctor requires to actually have empathy first empathy is not a value no empathy is emotion uh, yeah now values is there anything creativity required as a doctor no is there anything uh, adventure required for a doctor Restrict? no 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 uh, should they be having any kind of high paced work environment to be a doctor is yes. it a value that they need to have then they'll have to go to public safety sorry public health administration correct hmm. in government hospital Yes. So it yes. is either, either it can it can be or it cannot be. Cannot need not be, right? Yes. Yes. Now, yes. is structured work environment required to be as a value? Yes. Yeah. Of course. Definitely. Is social service a part of doctor's profile? Yes. 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 Is continuous learning a part of value? Yes. yes. Of course. Is independence? Yes. Yes. So these are the mandatory values to become a doctor, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Candidate is matching all these four. Is he she good to become a doctor? Absolutely. Now come to the learning style. <laughs> Being a kinesthetic learner is more appropriate, right? Yes. Correct. Yes. Or at least a visual learner, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. They cannot read and write only medical practice or. Auditorily here, correct? No, no. They they need they need experiments. These two are actually highly compatible, isn't it? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Now, psychometric wise, it is matching, correct? Hmm. Let's come to the skill and ability. Does a doctor require numerical skills? No. Logical. Yes. 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 Verbal. Yes. 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 Clerical and administrative skills, not necessary. Spatial and visualization skills. Yes. What is that a doctor is going to assume that there is a mass? This is the dimension of that. Uh, okay. Know? Okay. Okay. No. No. Not no. Not no. Required. No assumption. Not required. Not no assuming. Not required. Not required. Leadership and decision making. Yes. They have to. Social to be in decision making. Social skills. Yeah. What? Social. Skills. Yes. Yes. 
to mechanical? talk to not required mechanical is not required then how will a doctor do a subject in this five oh, sorry 10 semesters of doctors mbbs program there will be definitely a subject called anatomy Can mechanical is required how would yes. how will they expect the tooth without mechanical yeah on a surgery okay. and like that all mechanical right mechanical skills are required right from the yes entity. yes they yes. have to a dentist ah. also requires that these five yeah. skills are essential yes. see why okay. i am so very confidently saying is you can find this interest and skill and ability has a very correlate high correlation investigative interest is satisfied with logical and leadership and decision making skills correct mm -hmm. social skill social interest is connected with verbal and social skills correct mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes realistic interest is connected with mechanical skills understood mm. yes okay. also kind of kinesthetic learning is also there so then if all of them are there it is 100% suitable it will be put into the top choice but in case if the candidate is not introvert sensing thinking judging but extrovert sensing thinking judging what will you do interest is isr rest all are matching only personality is extrovert what will you do there you will first from top choice it it will move from top choice to good choice what is adaptable to change understood yeah. what is the ratio between extrovert and introvert you will inspect that correct yes uh, yes if it is if adaptable it... you will say that this profile requires a focus but you are a person who is choosing to be among people you will get distracted easily while doing your medical practice you should not be distracted you should focus so that what is the advantage to the candidate they are informed about their strength and weakness clear yes yep so they can be precautious hmm. if it is adaptable mm -hmm. they need not worry about a resistance in behavior isn't it hmm it can be a gap this is based on personality or interest instead of being investigative social and realistic the person is investigative social and conventional okay coming to the personality the candidate is introvert sensing thinking and perceiving not judging the realistic interest is in the fifth person for fifth position is realistic okay. interest possible to overtake conventional it is how because in sensing thinking perceiving is there in the personality it allows the realistic interest to increase correct yes after clarification but when it is given in a report whatever is the gap it will reduce its percentage and tell it is a good choice the psychometric assessment which is carried out online processes the uh, the recommendations finding correlation between the dimensions mathematically it knows only multiplication addition subtraction and division as a symbol the numerics you put 7 and 2 two number numbers if you put plus in between it will say it is 9 if you put minus it will say you know 5 into it will say 14 divide it will say 3.5 clear it requires your human intervention to analyze it understood that yes. is why i have been bombarding you last 5 days <laughs> correct absolutely correct yes or grilled we don't only recommend top and good choices based on the limitation in the suitability we also give optional as well as avoid from the entire range four four recommendations are given we can only recommend if you are going to decide for the candidate mind you you become accountable for their lifetime we are enablers for a candidate like a mirror to know about themselves through the assessment your interpretation from the report 
why it is a top choice, why it is a good choice, why it is an optional, why it is an avoid, you can easily figure out whether there is a gap, whether that gap is, what is the reason for that gap, which component is mismatching, whether that component is adaptable to change or not, everything you can do. Clear? Mm. How, when the recommendations are given, how it is given? You saw, right? Clusters were selected and the top four clusters were broken down, right? When you took a comprehensive report. Yep. So in that cluster, you can find the career paths. In science, maths and engineering as a primary cluster, in that, what are all the career paths are listed? Around 10 are listed here, correct? Mm. Do you see a top and good choices? The student is going to choose the button, radio button selects, giving the education roadmap to become an engineering and technology. On what basis is a top choice and good choice given? It's a comparison between psychometric analysis and skill abilities. Both are reflected in two different columns, independent there. Psychometric analysis doesn't grow based on skill and ability, but skill and ability can go grow based on psychometric factors. Uh -huh. When each of the psychometric factors is measured quantitatively, of all the four dimensions, a weighted average score is reflected here. The weighted average score can be different for different careers. It can be between 0 to 100. It is actually represented by four metrics or percentile analysis. The first percentile is represented as very high. Second is high. Third is average and fourth is low. When is it very high? When the psychometric score or skill and ability scores weighted average is 76% to 100%. Please make a note. When the weighted average score is between 76 to 100%, it is considered as very high. When the weighted average score is between 60 to 75%, it will be listed under high. 40 to 59 under percentage under average. Below 40 will be low. Clear? Right. So, whenever the psychometric score or skill and ability is not 100, you need to find out what is the reason for that gap. Here, if it is 82% of very high and skill and ability is 73, this has been listed under top choice because the analogy gives the recommendation like this. This is the holistic matrix. When is it a top choice? When psychometric score is between 76% to 100%. The skill and ability can be 60 to 100%. Or when psychometric score is 76 to 100, but skill and ability is 40 to 59, average. It will be pushed to the good choice. Good choice also is a case where psychometrically they are 60 to 75 percent, skill and ability can be even 100 percent. For children who are in a very early age, in 8, 9 and 10, they might be several areas not sure. Because of that, the psychometric score can be high or average or even very high. The skill and ability can be average or low. There is an opportunity for them to clarify and also develop their skill and ability. That's why they are listed under the demo. Mm. Optional and avoid are those when psychometric score is average, whatever grade the skill and ability, or if it is low in psychometric. They have to be set aside. Rather work with these where they are possible to see a higher rate of success. This is the logic on the holistic methodology. Agreed? Yep. Coding. Your coding knowledge will critically tell you what is required for the career and what is the uh, that with the candidate. Whether there is a gap 
you should be able to find the reason for the gap. You are like a mirror. You will be interpreting the gap as well. How you will do it will be our exercise on Monday. Now I have completed the part one of level one training area. The level two is about case study. Yeah. So when a candidate comes to you, how you will start your counseling? Okay. Step by step process. That will be our case study based. We will take one sample report and how to approach that counseling, I will go systematically. Yeah. Hope till now you are satisfied with the learnings. Yeah. Definitely. You expected these kind of learnings would come? Uh, no, ma'am. I kind of uh, expected this because like, you know, I've been into this for almost a year. I've been, I've been using this for almost a year. Okay. This kind of descriptive understanding. Though you've been using this platform for an year or so, right? You had a gap of unable to connect between the dots, correct? Right. Ma'am, jo aapne ye likha hai, aapne ISFJ. Jee, ye ISFJ. Louder, 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 louder. <laughs> मैं कह रही हूँ जो आपके जैसे सबके उसपे लिखा है लाइक गाइडेड माइंड्स नो आपके आपने ये अपने बारे में लिखा है आई एस एफ जे आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड योर क्वेश्चन मास सॉरी आ दैट लोगो ऑन योर यू नो दैट जूम आई लोगो इज आई एस एफ जे इज अबाउट यू या इट इज मी आई एम एन इंट्रोवर्ट सेंसिंग फीलिंग एंड Social enterprising artistic are like water, ginger, and cardamom. Mm -hmm. I am a researcher. You are a researcher. <laughs> Lovely. And I am also a project manager. Wow, great. I am a PMP. Okay. So, as per your um, calculation, as, as um, like I am fit in as a psychologist. <laughs> As a psychologist, what? I am fit, like, you know, I'm doing, I'm suitable for my job, my personality, my interests, and my me. Take your assessment. Rest uh -huh. of them will have taken the assessment. Take uh -huh. your assessment. The link is already given. You are only pending. Each of uh -huh. them are able to give their responses and justify what they have been recommended. All right. Nice, nice. Nice. Okay. nice. Okay, ma'am. So on Monday, what is the timing of training? Regular timing, ten thirty. Ten thirty. Ma'am, Monday for the level one, we need to attend our level. Yeah, one. yeah. You were there. No case study is required. You can there. You don't want. No, no, no. no. I want that level two. Okay, yes, ma'am. Monday I'll be there. Monday will be last for the level one people, right? Correct. Right. You are are you are you upgrading or you are not upgrading? As of now, I'm not upgrading, ma'am. Okay. I'll just go through it by next month. No problem. Take your time. Yes. Because yes. doing this max, you know, calculating all these algorithm is mm -hmm. actually very laborious to do it manually. Yes, yes, ma'am. No. Algorithm. See now, uh, Neera, you've got a widest smile. <laughs> and why would be that? Hello? Yeah. Why do you think I would be having the widest smile? Because you have a platform. Just hold on, ma'am. You have a platform. Oh, or... I'm sorry. There was somebody singing aloud. Hello? Yeah. You have to come again. There was somebody who was singing at the peak of his voice. <laughs> In, <Yeah>. office. <laughs> In my office. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying my... that you are happy now because all these calculations the platform will take care, correct? Yes, uh, the platform will take care of this, uh, but I am I'm not very afraid. Of... Namrata, please wait. Let um, Neeraj complete. If you interrupt, he will stop. No, please. <laughs> 
that's okay that's okay yes ma'am namrata please carry on no issue is nothing much aap baat karo okay so uh, i was saying that uh, yes i i feel that the uh, calculation will be taken care by the uh, system itself but i think uh, uh, i need to learn it manually also and uh, i am no, not that you uh, will do no that you are see to, when you listen to monday session how much of work you are going to do you will be feeling that it will be uh, a massacre uh, of a different level uh, neeraj kanesh don't don't you aap mujhe daraye na this is <laughs> you are scaring me off i will not be scared i will take care of this i'm not now. trying to scare you i'm just telling you <laughs> as in like what are we so accustomed of see we are so accustomed to such massacres no uh, but, being but into sales it's not a yes, massacre no <laughs> no it's not i'm just telling <laughs> <laughs> now uh, pressure uh, pressure has been a part of parcel of my life since last 20 25 years so i think i i can handle this 25 years you Or got maybe... married what 25 years now you got married no 23 years okay that's what you were saying 20 25 years mm, right? yeah that's what i was saying 20 25 years because because of like... your marriage you got no. you, you got a pressure right Mm, you can you you are speaking from office not from home <laughs> now Then let me tell you something let mind. me tell you something radha hmm? i whole my life uh, i have been surrounded by teachers right and living with a teacher is not an easy task i'll tell you this so what do you mean to say now so um, now my mother was a principal in a school is a tough time for you ha uh-huh. ha huh? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm trying to read between the words. Okay. <laughs> no, no. I am saying because whole my life I've been uh, surrounded by teachers. My mother retired as a principal. My mother-in-law was a vice principal. My wife is a principal. So you can understand what is happening around me. Ah, uh, you know, always a cane in her in their hands. <laughs> Hand up on the bench. Okay, very good. Yes, yes. Yeah. Let's hear from Namrata. She had something to say. Yeah. Um, you uh, yesterday you share some materials on Gmail. So already to, i sent yesterday yes 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 i, I just um, i want to know that uh, is it uh, so much relevant for our exams no ha huh, wait ma mm. you have finished only 50% of your learning area another yeah. 50% is underway on monday one day monday one day monday mm. another 50% more in uh, you know working to become a career counselor or even clearing clearing your exams knowledge will be you know dumped in your your there will be stream of knowledge come okay or ma'am wo us din maine na isliye nahi kiya tha login kyunki mujhe uske baad samajh mein nahi aaya to see my you... hindi is very poor ma if you uh, talk on me... that day you share that link that Lucky you know you can do, do your own assessment so i want to know uh, after login matlab when i touch your site what you sent to me uske baad kya karna hai what should i do now You Once have you have the... completed the assessment, what you can do is just inform uh, Radha about this. She would uh, activate your report. Once your report is activated, what you can do, you can log in using the same credentials that you have created using the guest login, mm. and you can access your report. You'd be mm. able to find out everything about you in that report. It'll be around thirty-two pages where. uh it will list out everything whatever we have studied so far whatever we have uh, gone through so far in the training you can find everything so in I that so if i have problems sir i will ask to you okay i'll call you <laughs> you're most welcome logging in and good one technology one sir namrata while you're logging in and doing it uh, if you get stuck uh, put a message on the group uh, everybody is there of us you. any one of us and who take is, the uh, assessment in one go not in multiple sittings Only, Suddenly, I am going to pick up my daughter. That's all. Your mood swing okay. is find the input. Okay? okay. When you are ready to spare about continuous one hour only, start the assessment. All right. All right. Understand. Okay, ma'am. Saturday I'll do. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Done. Thank you. All right. Happy weekend and uh, 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 you know what I would say. Happy Shankaranti to each happy one of you. Shankaranti. Yes. Glory and all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so happy festival and enjoy the weekend. Ma'am, 
Radha Ma'am and uh, Ganesh Gopinath Ji, you guys are going to celebrate Pongal Onam. No, it's Not only Pongal. 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 It's Pongal. All right. Bogi Pongal. For you, it Tomorrow. is uh, Lohri, no? That is no, no, I am Brahmin, so we are uh, going to celebrate Makar Sakranti. Huh. That is what is for us also. Makar Sakranti is also. It's only a sun god, no? Yep. Yes. So, no. Only one festival that the people name them in a different way. Yeah, it's yes. a festival for <laughs> harvesters. Ishwari. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the, all the, uh, uh, what I would say, cows and all, no? Yeah, yeah. Sun is going to going to come into my uh, sun sign uh, on that day. So, tomorrow, from tomorrow come onwards, come. I'll be shining like the sun. Correct. Oh, yeah, it's already no. come, no? All I thought it has already come in you. That's why you're so shining. <laughs> <laughs> Go and do best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ji. thank you so in much. In all this, in all this, yes. did we notice that Loon was missing today? Ah, yeah, yeah, he told that he is not joining today. He called me in the morning. Yeah, okay. I mean, he, he would have me. told you, but then, like, I'm asking. You can rely list. on recording. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he asked me, can I actually listen to the recording? Is that okay for you? I told, as long as it is okay for you, it is okay for me only. Oh. <laughs> But we missed him today because uh, in between uh, those... You are a good teacher. Those... You are just like coconut. But you are a good teacher. <laughs> if I am a good Ganesh? teacher, I should make each one of you successful. Thank right? you. Yeah, definitely. So, Radha... Much exposure, Radha. But it's interesting to meet him. Yeah, yeah. Sure, we'll meet up. We'll catch up. I'll come and have a chai with you. Okay? okay. Yeah. Radha, are you, doubt are you doubting our <laughs> abilities or yours? Man. I, I'll give you some North Indian food, no? I'm a good cook. <laughs> okay. okay. Not Maybe only time. What am I doubting? Yeah. I, I was saying, you are doubting our abilities or yours. We will be successful. Don't worry. No, no. The, the, the success what I am desiring. <laughs> very, very successful. Ah, the Jaliya Malabad that you have desired. Right? She is doing good. Mm. Her daughter will be there. Now, <laughs> now, now the other what I see in you people is... Wait a minute, no, Namrita. The yeah. success, Rajesh, Neeraj, what I am actually, you know, uh, desiring is, in one month's time, you should be becoming independent without even talking to Radha. Okay, we'll try that. Radha is not required, okay, after one month. No. That is the real achievement of a teacher. Teacher should appear... Whenever the student wants to learn, I have appeared. Once sure. the student has truly learned, the teacher should disappear. I am waiting to disappear. Okay. You will see that from me probably uh, maybe in 20-25 days. Very good. That's the spirit. Each of you are potential to score 95 and 100. Believe me. See, today is what? After we started the core concepts, it's on the fourth day, right? Yep. How were you answering when I was asking about careers? The interest and personality associated to the work nature. Spontaneous. You were flowing. You were flowing. With four days, if such magics can happen, when I give you assignments and roast you, do you think there is an option for sparing you all? Obviously not. Do or die. That's all. <laughs> Okay. Bye, everyone. I want bye, to say one word about you. You are still sexualization mode is on, I think. Sorry? <laughs> for whom? For whom? Radha, ma'am, your self actualization mode is on. <laughs> ah, no, no. Right. I, I don't want, I don't look for an actualization at all. No. I live a practical life. Okay. That's all. <laughs> Very hey, Neeraj, you were about to say something, Neeraj. <laughs> like you were actually calling out my name. No, Ganesh. I I was like. Uh, I think you I, I was speaking. thinking that how come, how come Ganesh is not saying anything about this? What what uh, Radha was saying right now that I would be I would be drilling you in on Monday, <laughs> and there's nothing came up from you. So I was just wondering <laughs> what happened to Ganesh. Oh, I'm very much ready to face everything. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see. Trust me, right. he's, a, he's, a, he's an epitome of mischievousness. Mischievous Who? he is. Me, 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 me. Not you. you. Neeraj. 
oh the, we were about to settle down again you are resurrecting <laughs> last tail also will keep bouncing from you huh bye <laughs> we had a long session today okay i i, I think uh, you, you you need happy to go weekend, to happy weekend ma'am happy weekend you guys happy weekend to so, all happy weekend happy weekend see you all see you all on monday bye yeah